Here comes the aeroplane. Meow. You're embarrassing me! to deliver the pizza that I ordered, the order that I ordered for $80. If you're being a I don't know about you, but I don't have $80 to just blow on whatever kind of pizza my delivery driver feels that I need. Well, we... I'm going to spend my hard-earned money on the pizza that I ordered. So Okay, Karen, shut up now. Listen. Did you just tell me to shut up? Damn, here we go. <sighs> what are you talking about? We're on the air? This is Ron? Absolutely. Get ready. For the funniest damn prank call show there is. That's right, bitches. It's the Macron Show at macronshow.com. And if you don't like this, go and f yourself. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me who you are? Who you call me? No, give me a break. What are you calling about? Who are you anyway? What the hell is this? Who is this? Aren't you having fun? And now, your host, Macron. <laughs> Hey there everyone, how are you doing? It's Monday again, 15th of April. Joho has already done a tip. It is now the 201st of, uh, April. April, right? That's where we're going with this one. Sure, April on the metric calendar. Welcome, everyone. Let's go see us in the studio. 
five minutes. Hey, shut up. Minutes. Shut up. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, this motherfucker's back. Shut up. Guys. What are you guys doing in here? What is going on? Oh, this motherfucker here. Let's see who made it. Dale. Down south. Dr. Charles. Hellraiser. I got Munson and Ronnie. Ronnie, what are you saying today? I better be a fucking vagina than a penis. Whoa, Ronnie. <laughs> okay. They got a... Thank God that girl's not here today. Oh, girls. Ugh, no. Ruining the whole sausage fest we got going yep. on here. Yep. All right. PC nerds, right? When I, Whenever I open mail on Windows, why does it keep saying, this is going to become Outlook? And then I'm like, no, I don't want Outlook. And then it keeps doing it. Is there a way to stop that forever? Despite what they say. Who fucking knows? Let's see the voicemails. Who's this? Ah, ha, ha, yes. That's more like it. That's the kind of voicemails I like. Thanks, guys. Who's this? Hi, guys. Dale here with the manhole. Hi, Dale. Normally Trump War Room. Okay, it's Monday. You guys know what to do. Go to macronshow.com forward slash donate. Give Ron a big tip. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, got a few Ronisms here. I won't take up too much time so we can get right into the show. Uh, if you've been following along, I think we left off at number 91. Incredible. So, Ronism number 92. If you spell Ron Blackman in Scrabble, you win forever. Yes. 93. Industrial logging isn't the cause of deforestation. It's just that Ron Blackman needs toothpicks. <laughs> 94. Some people like to eat frog legs. Ron Blackman likes to eat lizard legs, hence snakes. Yeah. 95. When Ron Blackman wants an egg, he crap o cracks open a chicken. 96. Stephen Hawking once stood up to bow down to Ron Blackman. And 97. Ron Blackman had a dream about fighting a two-foot snake. He woke up with his hands in his pants. <laughs> I was waiting for that Okay, one. guys. Toodles. Toodles, Dale. Thanks for those. So we're about to approach Ronism number 100. Is that, did I hear that right? Up to like 97. Yeah, next week. That's pretty impressive. Next week. I want to know what number 100 is going to be. It better be amazing. It better be uh, like the best one. All right, uh, we need some people to subscribe today. We at seven nine nine nine. Uh, well, we need uh, we need a man to show Hazel how to join the voice room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Look how look how fucking stupid she's being right now. Where's she at? Look, go look in the show chat. <laughs> how many you subscribers gotta join, do you we gotta have? Join Let me first. see here. Duh. We have. Uh, yeah, we need like we need like six more subscribers, and we're gonna hit eight thousand subscribers. We could do that during the show today if you all go yeah. tell someone to join. Go tell someone to join right now, right now during the show. We had like seven thousand nine hundred ninety. Yep. I think something like ninety four. Ninety four. Go subscribe. That'd be great, guys. All right, who's this? Oh, look, she finally joined. What a fucking idiot. Hey, Ronathan, it's Clark W. Griswold here. Oh. And I just want to tell everybody listening that if you don't love the Macron show, then fuck you. You're a dumbass, stupid motherfucker. Listen to the show. And sorry, I'm not in my truck today, so I can't honk the horn. Maybe somebody else can do that. Well, that's disappointing, but thank you anyway. The guy right. making excuses in oh, chat. Fucking no. I am. I was. Ooh, yeah. You weren't in chat. Right. That's why it was working. Uh, uh, let's get the safety what? bunch out of the way. Can't hear you, Hazel. Ignore her. I got her coming in here. Fucking shut up. Just, Just mute her. Serve her mute her. I'll deal with her. I'll deal with her. Just deafen her. <laughs> well, make it so she can't even listen. Nope. That's a bit far. Uh, let, her out, let her out every now and then, let her in. All right, safety bench head, what are you saying? Before we jump in, a note on our content. 
The Macron Show is created for adult audiences only. We advise listener and reader discretion for graphic depictions of sex, graphic situations, and some downright filthy language. If you or anyone listening are triggered by this, please do not listen to the show. The content on this show is only and only for entertainment purpose and does not express the views of the show host, co-host, and management of the Macron Show. All calls and information obtained herein are made for parody purposes and are not intended to be used for anything but comic purposes. You got that right, right? You got that right, right? Now, I believe we're going to do some more Zoom meetings this week. I was going into that last week. We got some shit set up for them. I don't know where Belfast is. Oh yeah, is. There's, there's, a bu- there's a bunch right now. Oh, there's Belfast. Talk of the devil, he just walked in. Late, late. Belfast, which Zoom meeting do you want to do? Let's do a Zoom meeting. Also, read what Dale put in chat. Do as he says. Belfast, which Zoom meeting do you want to do? Give me two minutes just to get face sat up here. All right. Let's get the dialer warmed up somehow. Let's see here. Someone in chat asked, do we goose people anymore? What are they talking about? Maybe on supporter shows, but that'd be a secret. You'd have to go to macronshow.com forward slash join to find out about that. We have no thing. recollection of what you're talking about. It's true. No recollection at all. <laughs> Alright, that number's not working. Hazel, we can't hear you. So. The hell's going on with your audio, Hazel? Saw your shit out, for God's sake. Yeah, dirty the hell is not going to The fuck did she say? I think she's on her phone. Oh, Why? The fuck? Oh. Oh my god. Fucking Canadian people, man. Wow, apparently it doesn't mind me dialing from this number. I'm not gonna say what company it is, but uh... It is a security company. Sure, sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it doesn't like this number at all. Let me call his uh, best buy. Allegedly. And there might be a good reason for that in a moment. Thank you for calling our telephone. Yeah, that works better. If you are the moderator, please. You are currently the only uh. person in this conference. <clears throat> what uh, what does doing chat mean? No video. Y'all see video? No video. Yeah. Why is that no video? Cause you're crazy. Maybe you're going blind. Maybe scientists did something to your eyes. Who knows? The alien took your eyes. You should definitely investigate that, though. Uh, Lisa is very disappointed in Best Buy. She tried to return a broken TV. Oh, she's in a broken Yeah, exactly. This is what happens when you break your TV. I actually got kids and blame them. Of course. You already know I was going to do that. Yeah, like Dale said, it means you've been jerking it too much. If you don't see me on video. How many fingers am I holding up? Can anyone confirm? Your call has been forwarded to an automatic- Lisa? Come on now, you're the first caller. Josh said it's a while since I had to shut my office door. Hmm. You might be right there. If you all go to macronshow.com forward slash tip and leave a tip tonight, 
then uh, the noise of the donation alert will get me angrier and angrier every time it goes off. Just to warn you about that. So the office door could close if we get lots of tips. Your call has been forwarded. If you just want blind rage, that's the way to go about it, you know? One more try for Lisa. Come on, Lisa. We know it's your number. All right, Belfast checking the Zoom meetings. Find us a good one. Find us a ripe one. Joey wants to know if Scobie's here. Scobie's here. He's here. He's sitting next to me in the studio. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic... Fine. Fine, Lisa. Be that way. Primo water. You know, one time I did that to Best Buy. My kid broke the TV and I brought it back. Really? Told me it was broken in the package. Yeah. Nice. Got a little ghetto with him. They, they swapped it off with a new one. <laughs> you got a little ghetto with him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> First night, my kid threw a toy and broke it. Wow. Well, Here comes the airplane. God damn it, there yeah. goes that noise. You're embarrassing me. The donation noise. You can't oh. hear it. Only I can secretly can't. hear it. Oh. Man, YouTube, the delay's longer than it usually is. Really? Oh, yeah. Mm. The internets are all working at this end, so I don't know. Look, I'm just getting the noise now. Did the noise work? I didn't see it. I just saw the TV flipping around. When is the show revamp happening? Uh, hopefully when now uh, Ragman gets some new graphics done for me, which is going to be very soon. Isn't it Ragman? Isn't it Ragman? Better be. Better be Ragman or I'm coming around I, your house. I know, I know where you. you live. I know where you live, Ragman. Hello, can I help you? Yeah, this is Ronathan calling from the corporate office at Primo Water. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Reason for the call is I saw that you'd reached out to my social media team with a complaint. I just wanted to find out what happened. Okay, so let me give you my account information. Uh, uh, don't worry about uh, that. I've already got that in front of me, so I, I don't need any information. Okay. So the account is under my wife, Danielle Kaminsky, 300 Second Avenue. Yeah, I got got all that. So I know, I know, I had a balance owed. Yeah, yeah. The account was locked. Yeah. It went to collection for 105.16 when it was sent to collections. Yeah, yeah, you should have paid that. I have placed over a dozen phone calls today, just to try to make a payment over the phone. I yeah. called you guys this morning on my way into work. I'm not joking. I've called in almost a dozen times between you guys and your collection agency. I was told by customer service that it was an internal collections. And I was also told external. Well, it's one or the other. It can't be both. Are you guys handling collections internally or are you handling it externally? Oh, your account was forwarded to this company, Collections Bureau of America. Okay. So that's external. That's not internal. Yes. Yeah. So, the representative practically lied to me. So I put a call into them. They said that the first couple calls, they couldn't find my information at all. I was told it would, by a representative with them, it could take up to a week for it to appear in their system. I was like, absolutely not. I said, I need to make a payment on this account today, now, on this phone call. It, it took almost eight hours to resolve it. I finally got somebody with that collections agency on the line. She got a supervisor. They located the file, and I made the payment. Now, it went to them at $105.16. They made me pay $124.69. There was absolute no explanation mm. whatsoever. It, Arian's there of nineteen dollars and fifty-three cents. And so this was the state. this was the people from uh, Collection Bureau of America. They they charged right. you that amount, right? Okay, I see. And the representative I spoke with, she did try to help, but she was also incredibly rude, in my opinion. Oh. 
I just have I have absolute zero patience when it comes to ignorance and rudeness. I've worked in customer service myself, and I was just totally floored by this. And as a new customer, a relatively new customer, <laughs> I could have been treated a hell of a lot better. Yes, of course. Yeah, that is terrible. I'm just taking some notes here. Um, so I see that your case manager at Collection Bureau of America was a gentleman called Alex. Is that who you spoke to? That was the first guy. Alex. I spoke with him this morning around like, I don't know, 10, like, nine, it was, I don't know, it was sometime between 9 and 10, he called me. Right, right. He had me on hold for a couple minutes. And then the line was dead. I, you know, I would thought, I would have thought proper customer service would be, okay, you have the caller's phone number, you call him back. Call mm -hmm. him back if the line gets disconnected, right? Right. No. Didn't hear anything back. Right. So now, now I back in again. I called back into Primo customer service. Got put through the ringer again. With, oh, it's internal, it was external, these guys have it. So I was essentially lied to twice by your customer service team. <laughs> I was like, all I'm trying to do is mm. make a payment so my account can get reactivated and I can reschedule deliveries again and get some empty stuff picked up. Yes, yes, of oh, course. We can't, we can't take any payment over the phone. They're like, the collection company can do that. So mm. the collection company finally found the file, you know, and I gave them the payment over the phone. Right. And then when I when I gave this girl the payment a short time ago, within the last, it was, that was within the last hour, finally made the payment over the phone with her. I was like, she's like, well, you need to call Primo back, you know, 888-588-1479 with your account number and confirmation number. Then we activate your account. I said, why do I have to wait two or three days? I was like, I just made the payment with you. Let's get them back on the phone. And she flat out refused and hung up on me. Oh, wow. Okay. And and is that where we're up to now then, I guess? And that's, that's, that's when I just took the social media. I was like, screw this. I'm going to social. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I can I see that. I, had, I, I was worn out. I couldn't hit no, social media. Okay. I, but I, I can understand the, the frustration. What I'm going to do... Um, so I actually have a direct line to Alex, who it says here is your uh, case manager over at... Because uh, it's not come through as a cleared payment on our system is the problem. At, at our end, it's just still showing as, a, as an amount owing. Um, I can see that Alex has added on various charges, so it looks like some additional charges were levied when he took that payment. Um, and in fact, he has added on some further charges, some late... just says late payment charges. What I'm going to do... Uh, if it's all right with you, I'm going to uh, just try Alex's direct number now. I have a direct line to him um, and just see if we can get this strained out between us. Would you be able to hold on the line while I uh, give him a quick call? So who's Alex? Is that a rep? So Alex, um, according to my system here, is your case manager over at Collection Bureau of America. Okay. And so what I need from him, first and foremost, is just a confirmation that all the payment is settled and, and done. Um, and then I can get things straightened out at this end. So are you okay to hold on the line while I do that quickly? That's fine. Okay, thank you. Just uh, give me one moment here. Collection Bureau of America, this is Alex. How can I help you? Hi, Alex. Ronathan calling from Primo Water. How are you doing? Good. What can I do for you? I think I, I mentioned this to you uh, in an email earlier, but um, <clears throat> I'm dealing with a case for a Mr. Uh, how do I say it, sir? Mo Mona? Mo Mora? Mora? Yes, Mora. Mo Mora. M -O -U. Um, mm -hmm. That I, I think you're familiar with. Do you want the internal case number? Oh, I just, I think I found your email. Okay. Yeah, I got it. So, yeah, I'm on the line with a gentleman. He's obviously a little bit unhappy that there are extra charges that have been added to the account. He's saying that he's paid everything and the account's settled now. So, 
I at least wanted to get the payment confirmation number and that all that thing so I can kind of get his account unlocked. He made a payment of 124.69. I can give you a confirmation number for that, but there is a uh... Another three hundred seventeen dollar and fifty three cents hold on the account. How much? Three hundred fifteen eight dollars and seventeen cents. One more time. Who's this on the line? Who am I talking to? This is the customer. How many times do you need me to repeat the same thing over and over again? I I didn't hear the amount that you said. It sounded like you said three hundred something dollars. Three hundred fifty-eight dollars and seventeen cents. Three hundred and fifty-eight dollars and seventeen cents. What is that fee for? Let me check here. So you got late that fee. Ludicrous. You got uh, service charge fee for the payment you made over the phone. You get the. Uh... It went to you guys at one hundred and five dollars and sixteen cents. I gave a credit card over the phone for one hundred and twenty-four dollars and sixty-nine cents, which was which is shown as a pending transaction. Right. Yes, that thing takes two, That's three, like three days to clear out. What are those additional charges? Oh, I'm trying to explain to you the additional charges, but you over there feeling. Out... Uh, let me tell you this: you got late fees. That's extra. What is it? You got. Are you ears painted or something? Can't you hear me? No, I couldn't hear you. Your phone cut out. So watch the attitude that you present to me. Open. Listen, I've been working for the company for 17 years. I got 99% collection rate. I collect one way or another. So I recommend you adjust your attitude. Or you may end up with more fees on top of what you owe. Is that clear? Primo, are you still on the line? Yes, sir. I am monitoring the call here. This is unacceptable. Oh. This is um, unacceptable. Sorry you okay. think that way. So what do you want to do? Just mail us a check for 358 and 17 and we, we're going to clear the account. What are all those additional fees for? You haven't broken it down. Instead, you wanted to call me an asshole, more or less. So try this again. What are those fees? Sir, come on. Sir, sir I, look, I know you're upset, okay, but the, the language is inappropriate. You know, I don't like that language. Here is what you I'm going to do. You guys put me through the rigor all day long. I mean, I... What? I, I understand so, what you're saying, sir, but at the end of the day, you should have you should have paid your water bill, you know? So now you your new fees, question. shut up. Your new fees are $484.16. I just put $125.99 bad attitude. And nothing you can do about it. You hearing this, Primo? Yes, I, I, I am listening. Primo got no saying in that thing. Primo will not no. be able to open your account unless I clear the account. You want to keep mean, going? Could, could we, and I, I mean, have some more charges? Maybe is it like a goodwill gesture? You could maybe just... Could, is there any way you could do anything? I can go and collect the what he owes us in person. What do you mean he in can person? Square that. I pay him a visit to his house. He pays with cash. You're a local collection agent, right? You're local to him. I don't... I don't oh. That is true. I, if you um, go up at my house, a fair warning... A restraining order will be filed. Restraining order? Restraining order. For what? I'm a collection agency. You're going to file a restraining order against a collection agency. Because yeah, you, you may pay your bill when we try to collect. Fees. You may find that you're, um, sir, just to let you know that you're, you may find that your legal argument for getting a, strain, a restraining order becomes very convoluted when you have to explain that you have a contract of business with this gentleman. Do you know what I'm saying? Everything yeah, is so you know, simple. I don't know. I don't know what he's not. It's understand. not as simple as you think it would be. I'm just sort of letting you, you know. You didn't right. pay your bill. Your bill. We bought the debt from Primo, and now we're trying to collect. And definitely, okay. we will collect one way or another. 
The free mobile has been paid. Has um, been paid in full. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not showing us satisfied on our system because I guess they haven't released the, the case back to us. I have a confirmation number, 500-90456. That's, that's for a payment that you yeah, made that, that doesn't register on our in system. In the amount of $124.69. And your current I mean, charges right now are four hundred eighty-four dollars and sixteen cents. I'm just reading through our company's procedure in terms of how to proceed if a customer wishes to dispute any additional charges brought forward by a third party. Um, it's telling me here. First of all, I would have to bring in a supervisor. It's kind of above my pay grade, uh, but it's saying that what the company would do is host a brief telecourt session just to decide the, the company's stance on things. I don't know if both of you would be agreeable to that. Usually they're pretty quick. That is a, that, this is a common practice. We participate in a telecourt sessions like 27 times a day, so I have no problem with this. We can do that. Okay. Uh, is that something you'd be agreeable to, sir? The balance forwarded to collections was $105.16. Not listening, I don't think. Yeah, no, I, so we understand that. We were just asking if you would be agreeable to settle this in telecourt, kind of to expedite things. I'm not paying anything extra above what I've already paid. As far as I'm concerned, I've paid mm. to bring in currents. Well, I guess we're at a stalemate then. I mean, unless you both agree to telecourt, uh, that the company's position is that the, the charges would stand as they are, so... Uh, the teleco option, at least, is free. Hmm. It was crazy. What is crazy? You're not paying your bill, and now you're blaming everybody else but yourself. Yeah, you should have definitely. You, you should have definitely paid your bill, so that really would have avoided all this. I paid. I paid the debt that was set. You didn't pay it in full. One hundred five sixteen was sent, and I paid one twenty four sixty nine. Shut up with the one hundred five fifteen sixteen. Either you want to take the telecourt and move on, or you don't. Simple as that. I don't know what is so hard to understand. What is it called? A, a telecourt? A telecourt, yes. Yeah, a telecourt okay. is. Uh, it's a procedure where exactly. we basically hold a brief. Um, it's all it's it done exactly like a courtroom so we have a judge on the phone um you'll be entitled to representation if you want to and um, we basically mediate the case or the judge mediates the case and then reaches a decision um it's very quick it's free um and it usually gets the problem resolved a lot faster but it's entirely up to you you both have to agree to cooperate with that i'm okay with that as i stated It's the it first time I've heard on, of it. It all depends on the delinquent prick if he wants to participate in that thing. What did you just say? Can we can we keep it professional, please, Alex? I don't Apologies. I don't appreciate I don't want to have to hear the that. Fact, okay. The fact that he is extremely unprofessional, that's that's not sitting well with me. And that will be used to my advantage. But let's do the telecourt thing. Yes, let's do that. You thing. wanna berate you wanna berate yeah. me, that will be used against you. Okay, uh, let me see. I'm going to set that up. And, and are you are you both available for the next? Um, usually takes fifteen minutes to thirty minutes. Are you are you both available now to, I'm to available, get that out of the way? Yes, I got twenty five minutes until my shift finishes. So yes. Uh, so uh, would you like a representative to give you legal advice, sir? Me. Yes. Yeah. Would you like to be appointed a representative? Sir? No, is there an additional charge? No, no, there is no charge for any of these services. Not There'll be no charge for anything. This is absolutely ludicrous. It's a f completely free mediation service. Um, so I've just requested uh, a judge to come into the call. Just bear with me. It's just going through our system now. And, uh, it's like an, on an online thing. Um, so yeah, your representative will be Hazel. Uh, she just came on the line. Uh, Hazel, are you there? This is Hazel speaking. Hi, Hazel. This Were you calling for mediation? 
Uh, yeah, your audio is not so good there, Hazel. But um, yeah, we it's are. Uh, yeah, we're proceeding to telecourt with our uh, gentleman. This is Michael. Um, okay, how, how do I sound? Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, that's a bit better. Um, okay. Now we're just waiting for a judge to enter. So if everybody can prepare, you're free to speak to your client while we do that. Hello, this okay, is great. Judge Dale. Uh, did oh. I get a request for a telecourt session? Yes, all rise for Judge Dale, please, if everyone could stand up. I'm standing up. Okay. Uh, is my court reporter ready down south? Miss Down South, Mr. Down South, either one? Uh, I think the court recorder is, uh, is set up. Yeah, we got confirmation there. I don't think he's on a mic right now. Perfect, no problem. Um, okay, so uh, I guess, is everyone ready to proceed? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, what's the uh, presentation for me? Okay, so I am representing Primo Water. On the line is uh, Alex from American Collection Bureau. Is that right, Alex? That is correct. Um, basically, uh, and the gentleman, Michael, who is on the line, Michael uh, Morup. Maori? Moron. 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 Uh, Mr. Moron. Mr. Moron had uh, failed to pay his uh, water bill, uh, a debt which he admitted to. Um, okay. And he believes... This is Hazel, too. I'm, I'm, I'm representing Mr. Moron, so you can direct your questions to me if he doesn't answer. Yeah, oh, so... good day, Miss Hazel. Glad to see you back. Hi, how are you? Yeah, nice to see you, Judge. Okay, um, basically, um, the debt, since it wasn't paid, was referred to our third-party collection agency, which is American Collection Bureau. Um, Alex was the case manager. Uh, several additional charges were added, which the gentleman wishes to dispute as being unfair. I'm um, sure he can give you the details of that in his, in his opening statements. Um, and that's basically where we're sitting. All right, let's start with the opening statement and present uh, your evidence, Mr. Moran, please. Okay, so I had a balance of $105.16. I was preparing to make that payment this week. I tried getting into the app to make the payment and found out that I couldn't get on. So I reached out to customer service for Primo. I was told that it went to external collections. I proceeded to reach out to that agency. It took them several hours to get back to me. A representative called me back. She located the information and I provided a payment for $124. Can you pull up my notes here? For $124.69. I was told that that was an $18 fee cup with some interest. I believe is what she told okay, me. Okay, because I was going to so, say you initially said 105 and now you're saying 123, correct? Right. The original debt that was forwarded was 105.16, and she told me that I'd have to pay 124.69. She gave me the account number, the confirmation number. She gave me the phone number to call to reactivate, and I was told it could take two to three days for Primo to reactivate it, but I'm trying to get it reactivated now. Now, when I asked about the variance of $19.53, she proceeded to tell me there's an additional surcharge coupled with 18% interest, I believe is what she told me. The, okay. the fact of the matter is, what I owed was 105.16 and what I paid is 124.69. As far as I'm concerned, the debt has been paid, my account should be restored. All those other fees that are alleged are absolutely egregious, and I think it's criminal. Well, we'll see. Uh, uh, objection, uh, objection, Hazel. objection, Your Honor, objection. I'm yes, sorry. Yes, sir. I, 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 it is not a, you to not put no opinion. <clears throat> it is definitely Amen. not a criminal matter. He just, I'm sorry, he just said this is criminal, and that is patently untrue. This is definitely a civil, uh, civil objection matter. Objection upheld. Thank you. Continue. Uh, Hazel, do you have any input on this, please? Mr. Moran, I'm just going to have to ask you to stick, stick to the facts not any opinions or feelings or anything like that. I understand this is a very heated situation. 
and I'm here to help you. So please just stick to the facts, but right? you're doing a great job. Go ahead. Okay. Who would, uh, is Alex on the line? Can I get some input from Alex, please? Yes, your honor. Alex is here. So this gentleman, he defaulted on uh, his water bill and we got the debt from uh, Primo Waters. He did pay the stated amount, but there is also additional late fees, additional interest, and uh, there is also another broken promise fee. And what I'm referring as a broken promise, the account that this gentleman represents and is on uh, Mrs. Moran's name. And Mrs. Moran, she, when I spoke to her earlier, she made some sexual advancements towards me and trying to settle the debt different ways than actually repaying it the right way. Oh, no. Okay. So that violates I, his I, original I, contract. I, I'd like to request a private room with my client right now. Don't talk, sir. May I request a private room? Everyone, please go into the room and give my client and I a moment right. in, the, in the private room. We, we, okay, we will stop the recording right now. Go ahead and have a sidebar, okay. please. So we're going to have okay, a two we're minute. Gonna... We're going to have a two minute recess. Okay, we'll let you know when everyone's okay. back in the court. Okay. 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 Michael, hi. We're no one can hear hi. us right now. What what happened with your wife? Made sexual advances toward the collection person. She, she would never do anything like that. That is a why would he say that? She would never do anything like that, ever. Not in a million years. She's the most conservative. Are you person sure? Because well, sometimes conservative people are the ones who do these things in the background. She was at, she was at work. She's been at work. That's okay. She's not able well, to I phone. okay. I mean, I understand that this is surprising to you, and I understand that you don't believe that she would do something like that. But here's my, here's my thing, Hazel. They said a broken promise fee. I have seen absolutely no correspondence from the collection agency whatsoever. There was no promises made. So we're we're gonna, gonna, okay, we're going to bring that up. We are we're going to bring that up. Are you certain your wife's not getting this correspondence and just not sharing it with you? She would have said something to me if there was correspondence. She would give it to me because I'd pay the bill. Okay, let, we, we will bring that up. Thank you for telling me that. Is there anything else you want to tell me that I don't know about? We only have about another thirty seconds here. Well, the balance, the balance was a couple weeks behind. I, I admit that was my fault. I was due. I knew uh -huh. I was due for the 105.16. I was planning on making that this week, and then the collection agency said, "Oh, it's 124.69." I'm like, um, "What's that?" And then they told me an additional surcharge with interest. Now they're trying to tack on all these other fees that are beyond okay. unacceptable. Well, that's that's why here at Primo Water we have Telecourt because these collection agencies can be really, really hardcore. And he, he can wreck your credit rating. So we need to take this very seriously. Um, but um, you're, you're doing great. I, I think I, I, I'm getting a beep here. We have 10 seconds and everyone's going to be coming back on the call. So so let me just bring up a couple points and then back to you. You're doing great. But please keep your opinions out of it and stick to the facts. But, but let's oh, here they come. Okay, everybody's back in the room now. Uh, did you have enough time to... Uh... Yes. Speak to your client there. Okay. Um, Thanks. Yeah. Um, Alex, if I may, um, Judge Dale, may I address Alex directly, or do you want me to go through you? Or uh, let's proceed. Just give me one bit of information. What was the initial date of this purchase, please? Michael. Michael. Mr. Moron, please. What was the initial date of the purchase, sir? Well, the water, the delivery is scheduled. It's like every other week on occasions, we'll skip it. If we, if we don't need a delivery, we'll skip the delivery. But we haven't needed a delivery. So we skipped it because we've had adequate bottles because we had an overage on a delivery in previous months. So we were sitting on some extra bottles that the company never billed us for. Okay, once again, I need a date, please, sir. Mr. Moran, please, a date. I'm not I'm not 100% sure on the date. 
Okay, then let's proceed, please. Go ahead, Hazel. Well, we, we would like permission to cross-examine uh, Mr. Moran about well, I, some of the statements that were made there, in particular in regard to the uh, sexual advances that were I, made by his I just, wife. I, I do want to bring up a couple things from the meeting that I would like Judge Dale to hear. Um, first of all, um, Alex um, mentioned that the wife had offered sexual favors, and Mr. Moran said that he never um, saw any correspondence whatsoever. And I'm wondering... Um, Alex, are, are you corresponding directly with the wife and perhaps he's not seeing this? He seems quite adamant that this is not possible and he's never received or seen this correspondence. And he feels strongly that if this correspondence was sent to his wife, she, she would let him know. So can you read us or do you have any proof or anything uh, to support this correspondence of the sexual favors? Yes, we do. Our calls are recorded and monitor for uh, quality service but uh yes the wife uh the wife actually i spoke to the wife uh today in the morning that's when she called us oh, and I, email. no it was a phone call okay. and she Do you have the an, transcript of any transcript of the conversation or a recording I, or any can you tell us I what was do. discussed Yes, Alex, could you please read any transcripts you have and we'll note those into the log. Well, here is the thing what she says. She says, is there any way we can settle the debt? To which my response was no. And then she asked me, you ever be, been with an older woman? And I said no. And then she was, she was like, I always do. I always wanted to try to peg my husband, but he kept refusing. Are you willing to try that with me? And I said, absolutely not. The other thing what she mentioned was, she always wanted to try anal, but Mr. Moran never wanted, never was willing to do that. And she asked me if we can go on a dinner date, either tonight or the day after, and she's gonna lend me experience the things I've never even told possible with another woman. This was for today. Yes, that was in the morning. Okay. Mr. Moore, I'm gonna um, have to ask you to reconsider if uh, you think that any of this is taking place or not. Just that was yes no, what time did this phone what time did this alleged phone call occur uh that was in the morning uh, around 10 10 a.m so we'd like the opportunity to cross-examine mr moron about okay. about this interaction okay. if that's okay just on behalf of the company okay. we had a few questions here uh mr moron well, can first you... uh oh, first sorry. can i get some clarification from alex now Yes. You said pegging. I, I'm not familiar with that term. What is pegging, please? Well, pegging is, as far as I know, I didn't know the term, so I had to Google it to educate myself. And that means a woman installs some kind of device called a strap-on. She installs it in front of her uh, private parts, and the thing looks like a, a fake male part, and that's used to penetrate a male anus i'm sorry Jack Jack. i'm just taking Jack some Jack notes, Jack. notes here you said I'm a Jack male Jack. you said a male part a male what okay we can proceed i've i've got it very clear now okay um, am i okay to ask some questions of michael please proceed our legal team just here uh, comes the airplane just gave me a list of questions yeah. here regarding this so, um, michael you described your wife as a conservative woman is that uh, what you said conservative right she wouldn't do anything like that okay and i would but would, would you that, okay would sir 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 it was just a yes or no question so you would you would you would describe your wife as conservative correct right okay would you say then that this has led to an unsatisfying sex life no Your Honor, objection. can i take my attorney <clears throat> to the side please 
Um, yes. Okay, we can have another. Okay, we, like we, another will, we will concede another two minute break oh. starting now. Due to the sensitive, due to the sensitive nature of this, I think it's warranted. All right, but we, okay, we but just for the purposes minutes. of the of the note taking here, we want to continue this line of questioning afterwards. We believe it's very pertinent to the case. Well, let let me speak with let me speak with my client, and and we'll talk to you. Please go into the private room. Thank you. Okay, going. Hazel. Hi. Hi. This so, is very strange. It sure is. Now I'm at my office. I just called. I went to work. I was like, call? I got a is question. Is it possible to bring your wife? Can we bring your wife in on this call? Hey, hang on one second. It would be great if she could be in the whole telecourt. What's that? What's your wife's name? What was that? What is your wife's name, please? First oh, name? Her name is Danielle. Danielle. Can she come in on the telecourt with us? She she can't unfortunately she's at work right now and she works at an airport so she okay. can't do security okay. and all maybe that. oh she I does just, oh, oh okay I just had her I just had her on my on my work phone and okay. I asked her I said did you talk to Primo at all today or anybody related to Primo, or anybody affiliated with Primo she said no and at ten o'clock well, in the morning confused. that's when she is getting Election ready to go agency? to work she's out the door by eleven so his, his she's accusation good? that he is making against her is. Michael, yeah, he's I, I not with get, Primo. He's with the her. he's with the collection agency. He's not with Primo. Right. I I want to hear if, if the collection agency recorded the call. Did they record? Can we find out if they recorded the call? If they recorded it? Yes, we certainly can. Hear. Yes, we yes we can. Okay. Um. Great. I I I think they're coming back on right about the time's running out. Anyway. Um. I I'm going to have to advise you. Um. Even if the questions get personal to answer them um motion just please answer them because it will help your case but um okay. let's let's uh let's get back on the call um please be careful not to confuse the primo water company with the collection agencies it's two completely different entities and i wonder if your wife spoke to a collection agency and not primo but uh here no, they're coming back on now anyway yes. Okay. She didn't talk to anybody. Okay, we're back okay. in the room, Order, everybody. Please. Hi. Okay. Order. Uh, okay. Um, okay. My my client uh, wanted to know if um, Alex from the collection agency had a recording of the conversation with his wife. Yeah, there should be a recording, and uh, mm -hmm. if you put a request, I'm pretty sure the IT department, they're going to be able to provide that thing within 72 okay. I'm, hours. I'm sending you an F234 that you're going to have to be releasing that. You have you have 24 hours to do so. To, you can release that to, to Judge Dale. And, um, yeah, we can do that. I can make a note, and I can send it. Well, you will be doing together. that because you're going to be forced to do that. Um, I am going to turn it back over to Judge Dale, and he can he can organize the questioning from Primo. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, it's Primo. Uh, your turn. Go ahead and let's start the questioning, please. Okay. So if I can return to where I was, um, I was asking, would you describe your uh, sex life with your wife as being satisfying, Michael? It's plenty satisfying. Okay. When was the last time you had full intercourse with your wife? Just last night. Just last night. Okay. And uh, now, what... if, if if I may... I'm sorry, sir. If I may continue my questioning, um, you'll get your chance to ask me questions afterwards. I would just like to know what the relevance is. Oh, I, I object to this line of questioning. What relevance does it have to the debt that was owed? Um, I'll have to overrule that objection because Mr. Primo is trying to get to the bottom of this. Your wife has some involvement with the collection agency. Primo, please proceed. Okay, you said you made love to your wife last night. Um, can you tell me what position you used? A multitude of positions. Okay, such as? Doggy is one. OK, 
Okay, that's one. Missionary. Missionary. That's it. Doggy and missionary. Okay, make a note of those. <clears throat> and uh, did your wife orgasm during this interaction? I like sidebar with my attorney again. Uh, objection. We just had a sidebar. Yes, we've had two sidebars, sir. Please, let's let's continue this. Primo, go ahead. Um, okay, well, I'll skip to the next question, which is, um, there's only a few more. Uh, how many times did your wife climax to completion during the interaction last night? I didn't count. I don't know. So you, you would say you lost count? So is it is it fair to say then that as opposed to being as you described it conservative your wife is actually in the bedroom relatively promiscuous would that be right She can be One could say that she has a healthy and active sex life and actively in, enjoys it With with only me Well I mean I would okay you say that but I I I would conclude from that that it's perfectly logical that a young, promiscuous woman, such as you've described your wife, would absolutely flirt with a representative. I mean, maybe it was flirtatious behavior, or maybe it was joking, or something like that, but you've painted your a picture of your wife as quite the whore, sir. And I, I think it's perfectly believable that this could happen. She is anything but, and I know she wouldn't. But I mean, uh, as you put it, sir, last night you were making love to her doggy style as she orgasmed over and over again. I mean, these don't sound like the actions of a conservative lady, if you pardon me saying so. Um, and well, therefore, I, I, I find that to be a, a, a straight contradiction in this gentleman's testimony. Uh, we we have we have no further questions for this witness other other than to summarize his wife is a whore. All right, your Primo, honor, thank your you. Your honor, your honor, that's order, not acceptable. Please. Uh, Hazel, what is your point of order, please? First of all, he's making judgment calls against my client's wife, which is completely unacceptable. Some of the questions, I'm not sure what the relevancy was, but I let it go without saying anything. Third of all, I will wait to hear the tape before I continue. So I think that we're going to have to either reconvene because uh, I, I need to hear the tape. Okay, Michael, I concur on a couple Michael? of your, excuse me, I concur on a couple of your points there, but uh, let's get some more information about Alex. Alex, did uh, you receive the F23 form yet? Oh, yes, I got it. Okay. How soon will we be able to hear the call? Our internal protocol says 72 hours after official I request see. has been received. I see. Uh, can you actually uh, text the wife and ask her if she uh, remembers how many times last night that she achieved orgasm, please? You want me to text the wife? That's no, I think he was asking Michael. Oh, I'm sorry. Why? I'm not yes. going to do that. That has no relevance to why this call was convened. Okay. Um, I object to that. I'll accept that objection. Let's proceed. Primo, do you have anything else for us, please? Uh, we have no further questions for this witness, and we look forward to our own cross-examination. Okay. Hazel, do you have anything? Be waiting for the form from Alex with the uh, sorry with the um, recordings from Alex uh, to to um, confirm why don't, that. Why don't we bring a me? Why don't we bring Mrs. Moran on a phone call and confirm she? Right, she's, she's not able to Mrs. because Mrs. Moran she's at work. Is working at the airport right now. Yeah. Uh, yes, if you remember earlier, Michael? Alex, uh, Mr. Moran uh, conceded that she was in a, a work position right now and unable to talk. Okay, I did. Excuse me, everyone. I have an opening in my calendar Wednesday at approximately uh, 
this time. Michael, is is it is there a time that your wife is available where we can continue this with her being present in this week and we can she, we can she assured me that she had no contact with anybody from Primo. It would be well great to get her emergency. It would yeah. be great, number one, to get it in her own words. And since the account is in her name, it would probably be ideal to close it off. Yes, but uh, Yonder, it's... that's going to be a problem because they're going to make up a story over there what to say or what not to say. It would, I'd so like to hear what she work. has to say. No cross talk. Well, of course, she's going to deny everything. Well, hold confirmed. on a second. Order, well, order, please. She told, me, she told me she's scared of her husband. Uh, I, so I can that do may be, That may be a order, abusive husband Order, over please. There. I'm sorry. Alex, calm your young ass down, please. No. Now, I, sorry, I'd be willing Honor. to do a continuance to Wednesday if all parties will accede to that. Michael, will she be available? I can I can try and see if her schedule will coincide, but it does get pretty tricky. What time on Wednesday? This time. 6 p.m. Eastern it? time? She can take maybe 15 minutes, 15 minute break or something. So what time? 16 I, or I, so I do have a uh, opening at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Wednesday the 17th. Can we confirm that date, please? Uh, let me let me just check my schedule and my lawyer's schedule. Bear with me one minute. Uh, yes, we can do that. Wednesday at 6 p.m. Okay. If no one else that? has any information or any testimony to give, I will conclude this meeting and we will do a continuance. Oh, I, I do. I'm so sorry, um, Your Honor. Please, please go ahead, Hazel. I have to tell my client, I think Alex and um, Primo Water, and you obviously know this, in the rules of the continuation, Michael, can you hear me? I can. In the rules of the continuation, since this is still an open trial, it's important that you do not discuss this matter with anyone outside of us, me, your counsel, or your wife. Do not call Primo Water. Do not discuss it with any of their representatives. Do not call the rep the collection agency and discuss it with any of their representatives. This needs to be a close matter between us, and you are able to discuss the the case with your wife so that she's prepared to speak to us Wednesday at 6 p.m. But other than that, I have to ask you, do not discuss it on social media. Do not discuss it with friends, family, or anyone outside of this. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. And I will great. have to uh, commend you, Hazel. You just took the words right out of my mouth. Um, I've done this before, Your Honor. Okay. If uh, we're all in agreement, everyone say aye. 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 Okay. I will call this telecourt to a conclusion now, and I look forward to everyone being back Wednesday. Okay, Court thank adjourned. you. Thank all, you, Your Honor. All rise for Judge Dale. Did he exit the room yet or no? Yeah, he's gone. Okay, so we'll we'll speak to you on Wednesday, sir. Okay, okay bye bye. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> what a fucking dick. What the fuck? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Amazing. You heard it, guys. <laughs> That was great, Dale. You you were perfect as the judge. Thank you, thank you. I loved it. All right, so uh, you heard it, guys. Six p.m. on Wednesday, telecourt featuring Judge Dale. Now you have Bring, a reason to join. Now you have a reason. Yes. And Bring a buddy, tell a friend, before. join Discord now. It's only going to cost you five five bucks case. to hear how the yeah. Will he be guilty? No Will he be here, not guilty? No one here is to discuss this case outside of this room, okay? No one. Will he get sentenced to three years in prison for some reason? <laughs> Who knows? Find out on Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday, Danielle, get pegged by Ronnie. What a great I, deal. I, th I think this should end with him getting three years in prison, Ronnie. Personally. Should end with his wife getting pegged by Alex. Shit. Three years in prison or three hours with his wife.
I need to Alex, you can recommend I... that he gets three years in a sex gulag. <laughs> I sex told we'll call them. You know what, you guys, I had to call them. Older and shit, but the motherfucker, they're young, they're like in the tourists. Did you hear him boasting about his sex life? <laughs> it's yeah. like multiple positions, no. and then he could only think of two. Doggy, missionary. <laughs> that, was the, that was the only two they knew. <laughs> I was I'll laughing so Wednesday. hard when he said that. I'll call first on Wednesday so that you have time to AI her voice. Oh shit! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll we'll <laughs> we'll AI her voice and we'll do a quiet whole... conference a couple of minutes beforehand. Yeah. We'll do a whole thing. All right. Finally, we got a Zoom meeting. Let's get in here. Let's do a Zoom meeting. We're waiting to do this. My new Zoom killer should be working, allegedly. All right, I'm going in Belfast. Mm -hmm. Come on, Zoom people. Come on. Oh, shit. Let me know when you're in. She's not letting me in. Seriously, uh, just let me in quick too. I ain't gonna tell what what name are you using? Like Ronathan. Right, your mom's been told on. Come on, let I me just in. Perfect. Is that Gianna, is it? Not yet. Come on. Move, Come move, on, move. let run in. No, oh, oh. I'm in. Yeah. Right, I'll start now. Stand up. Or maybe not. As Jesus caused the sickly to die, I curse you to uh, die now okay. in the name of Jesus. I, the righteousness of God, I, the redeemed of the Lord, <laughs> decree and declare that as Jesus caused the sickly to die. Okay, so I think we're going to end the meeting and then we'll come back on after. Okay? Okay. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Take up the boot. Yep. Let's go back in. Like I'm the only one in here, and I've got the moderator's name. <laughs> Did they all just leave? I think I've done the trick to restart, and the thing would disappear. <laughs> oh, here's Nina. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's you. Just me and you. <laughs> wow! Did they all just fucking bail? Oh no, here they come. <laughs> oh yeah, that's hot. Let me see you dance again some more. I wanna I wanna see the dancing man, please. Hi Maureen. Hi, who's this? Hi, this is, uh, this is Pat. I'm a British, I identify as a British man now. Okay. This is it again. Hey. Yeah. What's your problem, Norma? There she goes again. Huh? 
What is that? Yeah, I would love to grab your head. Yeah. Put my big monster paws, fucking cock to your face. Start pissing right in your mouth and all over your face. Have you exposed that fucking nail? Oh my goodness, what is that? Hot fucking ass rain. Let me piss on it. Put my fucking dick right to <laughs> there it. They go, there they go, there they go. That was just us again. <laughs> Oh, good times. All right, fuck this meeting. Hi, Christine. Nick. Hi, Christine. Oh, they're all coming back. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the meeting. I know they're leaving again here. Yeah. Christine, you might as well just leave, Christine. There she goes. There she is. Hi, Hi, Heather. Oh, she's a girl. She's got something. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 I don't know how to. Heather, you better get control of this situation fast. What are you doing, Heather? I should be able to. Should be able to fix this. Get them out of there. Yeah, what are you going to do? How are you going to do it? Just click on their name and remove them. Oh no. Oh, that's not copyright, copyright music. Copyright. I was just going to say, now you're going to get a copyright strike. Penis. I right, fuck this meeting anyway. Good day. Good day meeting. There's no way I can be a copyrighted one. Probably not. Oh yeah, it was. All right, uh, who's the next complainer that I've got to do? Someone make a note of that guy's number for Wednesday for me. I put a bunch of fucking emojis and shit. And well, we have a big Wednesday. problem at Princess Cruises. Yeah. Oh. Big fucking problem here. Oh my god, oh no. And the problem is... Uh, this person had the worst customer service of their entire life. And he looks quite old as well, so that's no empty statement. The worst. He feels cheap, he feels used. Hello? Hello? Hi, Robert. My name is Ronathan. I'm calling with the corporate liaison team at Princess Cruises. How are you doing? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Oh, th this old fuck bought a Bluetooth headset and doesn't know how to use it. He's probably got it up his nose or something. Hello? Hello, Hello? can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Really, dude? Hello? Hello? Oof. What the fuck? Do you have some kind of... some kind of fucking voicemail that just says hello? 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 What is wrong with you, dude? Hey! I keep calling him. He needs to fix it. You've reached Matt O'Donnell. Please leave. Oh, well, that's his voicemail. No, that's not him. Not even him. Oh. Fuck him. Fuck Try. him off. Try the other numbers. Should be Robert something. 
Alright. Try the next two of them. Alright, we'll see. Uh, real quick. Macronshow.com forward slash tip. We need more tips for them to pick up, guys. Come on there. Dig deep. We need your help to make the Macronathon great. Macronshow.com forward slash tip. Make a big annoying alert come on the screen. Come on now. The last one to donate is a Jeff. No. Your call no. has been forwarded. No, <laughs> fuck this one. Let's do the next. USPS. This person did a vacation hold and now it's a problem. Hmm. Just be getting a lot of mail to uh, bother to do a vacation hold. A lot of packages. Some kind of Mr. Fancy Pants here. Miss Fancy Pants. People. See, this is what happens, Ronnie. It's because there's not been enough tips. No one's gonna mm. pick up now. See? It's always Please the way. leave your message. You people, do you see what you've done? See what you've done to the show? Unbelievable. Got 140 people watching by only 54 likes, Ronnie. Can you believe it? Fuck. Can you believe it? I'm grateful, motherfuckers. We have to go for a break, get another beer, have a little sit down, you know? See what you people are doing. This is your fault, guys. Please leave your message for Judy Rock. That's, That's her cool. too, right? <clears throat> Deliver a message, we got the whole fucking 41525 next year. Please leave your message for. Waste connections. Waste connection. Yeah, that's a uh, some garbage com garbage collection com. Hmm. Okay, I think this is the number. They connect. They collect waste anyway. The community is having problems with trash pickup. Oh no. I don't know what the problems are. Coco's craving fried chicken. Any suggestions? Popeyes. Please leave your message for. How oh, dare you? Come on now. Your call has been forwarded to Playing it from your playlist. Your favorite songs. Sorry, we got a Zoom meeting. We got a Zoom meeting coming. The host has joined. We've let them know you're here. You better let them know I'm here. I'm a pretty big deal, all right? You let them know Ron's here. You let them know right now. You want a bucket of chicken?
Really? Oh, don't, don't, the lane is in. Woo. All right, so it's going down in here. But that's well, but nice. Nate, I'm glad Nate, she Nate, told Nate. us about that. Yes, I'm glad she did too, and I'm glad I asked. I'm really so. glad she told us about that, yes. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Frank. Can I help you? Hi. That depends. Do you have a big cock? Whoa. Who said that? Oh, nice. Show us your cock. Looking good. Show us your cock. Janet, when was the last time you had a nice big cock? What about you, Alva? You going to show off for me? If you want. Oh, no, I think they ended the meeting. <laughs> I <end it. laughs> uh, Rosalind. I'm going to go back here as Rosalind. I love these. If you want to get back here, always pick the name of someone who was in there before. There you go. Now she thinks it's just <laughs> Rosalind, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, fuck everybody. Bro. Did they remove you? <laughs> yeah, but I'll be back in a second. Hold on. Oh, we have Dale from Zoom Security here. Hopefully he can help. <laughs> oh they got you straight away okay i've got the um oh. waiting room enabled again i hope everybody else figures that out um nancy shared What's with this? me a trick that was supposed to stop the things from jumping around yes it it's work. it's working really well you're doing a great job there you fucking coconut head You really got rid of the ball. That's how she got. <laughs> oh, no. All right, that seems to have taken care of the intruders. Is everyone back here? Janet, from this angle, we can see a lot of nose hair. Oh, there she goes. I, I think they're done here now. I've just ended the meeting again. <laughs> nice. All right, one more try for this waste connection one. Thinking maybe I need to go for a little break while Ronnie's here. Maybe when I come back, we'll get more tips. We'll get more pickups. Who knows? Please leave your message for six. Oh, screw you then. Let's try one of the other numbers. A bit of perseverance here. Come on. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record. I will not. Roddy, you want to take over for five minutes here? Now listen. I need you to th basically threaten everybody until they tip, and then everyone picks up. Why is my camera going all blurry? Fix it. There we go.
Is that okay, Ronnie? Can you just threaten everyone for like 10 minutes for me? Oh, don't tell... Do don't tell me he's vanished. This fucking prick. Sorry, we got one more... We got one more complainer in show chat to call. Why does, why does he just disappear? What the fuck he does? He so does. Right? Whenever you need him, he just vanishes. He's a Whoa, he's what a happened prick. to your camera? It went all blurry, but I fixed it. Stop. Right. Dallas Dodge, Texas. Is that what that is? Dallas... Yeah, what the fuck is that? Dallas Dodge TX. It's a dealer. Ah, oh, here customer. he is, the prig. Ah! Ah! Customer coming and pick up fuck your for. fucking customers. Fuck them. Okay. Tell them to fuck off. Take fuck right off. Good. Give me that phone number right now. Ronnie, I'm going for a break, okay? I need you to stay here and threaten everybody. When I come back, I want more people to have joined at macronshow.com forward slash join. I want more tips. And I want some good Zoom meetings lined up, and I want some yeah. good complainers lined up. And if I don't have all that when I get back, then that's it. That's it for you guys, okay? Okay, let's do meditation next five minutes. Meditation for five minutes, all right. Yo, laugh for yoga, ready? I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that, Ronnie? I remember fucking Laugh you. <laughs> Let's fucking meet in a Zoom meeting and we can laugh our asses off fucking idiots. What happened to uh, that uh, Shoplifters Anonymous meeting? Remember we called it? No, we never called it. That was uh, Tuesday. Tuesday and Thursday, Thursday yeah. yeah. Maybe maybe we gotta fucking do it tomorrow. Yeah, we have to call yep. it. Yep. Shoplifters Anonymous. Shoplifters. I'm gonna tell my store all kind of stuff today. Did you guys try Jeff today or no? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Today, it's gonna fucking answer by mistake. <sighs> Jeffrey? You have reached wow. mailbox number two. Nope. Absolutely not. Thank you for calling my If you there are currently thirty three other participants in the conference. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lori. And so the topic is Oh, thank is you, Lori. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I was yeah. getting my fucking audio clips ready and they kicked my ass out and we weren't even unmuted. Was oh, that the main one? Yeah. Wow. That's some fucking I'm such high alert on Monday. Hey, why you sound like you're in the bathroom? Yeah. I don't know what is wrong with my sound. Sound like you, you oh, the whole day. It sounds like you're in the bathroom. That's so weird. I'm on my normal thing. I'm going to log out and come back in. Not like she's taking a shit. Is the mic right by your mouth? It's not like fucking two feet away. I think she's on the toilet. I'm Welcome telling you, I think she is. Thank you for choosing she's been taking a shit for an hour and a half. <laughs> it sounded good. It sounded good if for the uh, host, court, though. Press are now right. otherwise please wait and you will be joined into cool. the conference <sighs> do, do, do. there's nobody in this meeting do, do, do. looks like it it's weird to lay out these ones up the midnight to run and head <clears throat> sound okay now nope you sound the same mm -hmm. Even worse yeah it worked out well for the tally court yeah, you know, it, it worked out good her being like that. It sounded like she was on, like, a speakerphone. Yeah, that's what it sounds like, like you're on a speakerphone. It sounds like you're okay. in your car, on Bluetooth, in the bathroom. Morning, 
Oh man. Hello? Where the man? Man is not here, Alex. What what time he coming? He coming in around afternoon, or like eight o'clock. After eight, eight o'clock. o'clock. How you doing today? I'm good. You? Good. Yeah, I'm good. Y'all busy? No. No. Okay. You got, oh. Okay. We call back from man at eight. How many How many rooms you guys got over there? How many rooms? Twenty rooms. Oh, twenty. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. It's, this is a nice place. Yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna go visit you this summer, okay? All right, buddy. You'll give me a good deal. Yeah, good deal. Your friend will give you a good deal. You got you got you got good women over there. Shut up, Alex. Your women <laughs> like white boys. <laughs> <laughs> wow. She's like good women. Fuck no. <laughs> that is no fucking good women here. Wow. We can't get the fucking kid, bro. I know, bro. the boxes, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There no more. I don't think they let him answer the phone no more. We can't get the motherfucker. That was <laughs> I like to see their faces in all those boxes really showed up. Come on, Ali. Ali. Man, I talked to Ali when I talk, huh? I haven't talked to Ali in a long, long, long time. Nope. Out of business. Ali out of business. Let's call this fucking conference. Welcome to the conference center. This con- If you are the moderator, please press 1. Otherwise, please hold to be placed into the conference. There are currently four other participants in the conference. It is always fucking four people sitting and doing nothing. Oh, all these people just sitting there. Fucking sleeping. Oh, Wake up, people. Nah, I heard that. Shit. What about clitoris? Welcome and thank you for tuning If you are the host, press star now. Otherwise, please wait and you will be joined into the conference. One. Three, nobody here. You are the. Uh, I was coming. You want me to try uh. Jeff from Dana and Baroka? Where's that? I hope I can fucking dial from Dana but if it's fucking fun thing. Might not like it, but it's worth a try. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Can I dial? All right. Did you get me everything I wanted? Hold on. Hold on. Nope. Hold on. What's the name? Oh, tell us. What the fuck do you want? Oh, shut hey. up, you fucking crackhead. Jeffrey, you are alive, baby. We miss you. Hey, how you doing, Jeff? We miss you. Are you okay? Fuck off, you little retard. Oh, come on, man. Don't be so Oh, we check it on you. Make sure you're okay. Fuck off. Go find something to do. We just want are to see okay? how you're doing. Fuck off like you were told. Oh, no. You oh, mad again. Jeff. Oh, he's Jeff. gone. Whoa. Whoa. How did you get Jeff on the phone? <laughs> we call him from, we call him from the <laughs> telephone company. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the number, Brilliant idea, the number Belfast. Belfast. Yeah, the number Belfast posted. Yeah, I called him from the number. I can fucking finally answer. Holy fuck. Hey, Jeff is alive, everybody. Don't you worry about him. Wow. Let me wow. write this down. <laughs> yeah, right. Jeff, Jeff is alive. 4-15-24. <laughs> 5.35 p.m. 5.35 p.m. He's still alive. There you go, guys. Leave a tip for Jeff. Macronshow.com forward slash tip. Nobody uh, left a tip. Nobody liked it. Nobody Nobody did nothing. They don't listen. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I can put them on hold again if you think it'd help. I mean, we still had the same amount of subscribers. 799. Let's, 
Come on, Let's people. put them on hold for an hour. We, and didn't, even, we didn't even get to 8,000 subscribers. That's so no. I'm fucking done. Good night, everyone. Push that like button, people. What in the Come world on, is the yacht? Yeah, 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 yeah. Da, 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 da. 66 likes. Da, 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 da. Well, yeah, but you know. I'm not coming back till we all like and subscribe. Oh, listen to this shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Hold on, stop the music. What happened? Somebody fucking ratted us on fucking Twitter. <gasps> These Wait, motherfuckers. What? <coughs> Poster in here, what the fuck happened? Oh no. Your ass is mine, buddy. Luke Manfield. It's a fake account. It's okay. The fucking fake account's gonna go someplace, right? Uh oh. Are you guys gonna be beefing again? What a piece, man. Okay. Oh. Whoever no. did it, just know Ronnie always gets his man, so. Now <laughs> my attention is fucking rerouted someplace else. <laughs> uh oh. What a sad sound. Oh dear. Oh no, I'm already we, angry. Don't worry we about it. We can reverse engineer what he said anyway, so it doesn't matter. You can reverse engineer it. Well, we'll just call the guy and say, like, some that it's not, that it is us. Mm. We can make him believe it. Oh, well, I'm sure the guy's already looking on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hi, Michael. You got a zoom meeting coming in. I mean, I really have to call this person about the dodge. Please be patient. Wait. Oh, oh, let me in. Um, oh, you can't sorry, mute in this one. Getting a little. Uh... You okay, Sue? I don't know either way if I do well. Yeah, I'm, um... I just see a lot of people coming in. I know, I see that too, but they're all muted as far as I know. Yes. Right? Like, I just mm -hmm. double-checked the security. Yeah. Things are no, going crazy We're going crazy. We're, going crazy. we're, we're being blonde again. Okay, oh, so what do we do? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Should we get out of here? Uh, put this one in the waiting room. I'm going to put... Some people are in that I didn't even let in. Put this one in the waiting room. Uh -oh. Um. Who else is doing that? He's putting the wrong ones in the waiting room. The gallery view. Uh, okay, this guy. Oh, this yeah, some, some person, guy. Yeah. yeah, I need to figure out which one he is because he's switching. And he, why can he co show a screen? I thought they don't. He's, they can. They he's, just can. He's, he's Ronathan. Yeah, no, I know, but the names <laughs> keep moving up and down the list every step. I'm afraid of picking up. Well, you could always bring somebody back from the waiting room. That's true. If I could figure. Oh, there we go. She waiting roomed up. All right, let's deal with this dodge problem here. <gasps> 
Captain Franklin subscribed. Six months she's been trying to deal with this issue. Or he. Is it she? Wait. Oh, it's a she. Her name is, is a she. Her name is Shady. Shady, yeah. Uh, no way her shady. name is Shady. That's the original uh, name, the legal has name, been bro. Forwarded to voicemail. Oh, no. What Try the other numbers. Your call has... Sound shady. She's one of those people that changing numbers every fucking week. Service you're attempting to use has been restricted or is unavailable. Shady didn't pay a phone bill. Alright, get me some fresh meat in here. Try and find me someone who's on hold. They're always the best ones. The number you have reached is not in service. This is a recording. Oh shit, it's a recording. Fucking dumbass fucking Masaric system. Alright, let's see what we got next. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know what she's on about. I'm going to come back to that one. This person doesn't like that Comcast bill going up. Let's do that one. Do the old business phone number. That should work. Uh, let's see. Uh, my bill went up to two hundred, and, and it's a banchoed as well. It's definitely a banchoed name. Hi, this is Kunjal. Leave me a message and I'll give... Oh, come on, lady. Hello? Hi there, ma'am. My name is Ronith and I'm calling from Comcast hello? Xfinity. Yes, hello? 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 My what God, the what the fuck? Is it fucking is it the dialer sound fucked up with it? Yeah. That's the second person that doesn't fucking hear the. She can hear me. <laughs> you think? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello, ma'am. Hello. The fuck? I'll restart the dialer. It's definitely set up right. Hmm. I think these people are being fucking stupid. If you give me one of your burner numbers, I can call and test it. But uh. Mm. Definitely worked during that telecall call. Oh, my numbers. Where the fuck are my numbers are here? Wait, 
you have to mute yourself in here, Ronnie. Check, 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 check. Penis, penis, can you hear me? Yeah, fucking loud and clear. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's literally this lady being fucking stupid. Hi, this is Kunjal. Leave me a message. Oh, you bitch. Oh, no, see when the caller ID says Comcast business. Hi, this is Kunjal. Leave me a message and I'll get back. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, who's this? Yes, I'm calling from Comcast. Uh, it's regarding a complaint that you'd uh, put in via social media. Do you have a moment to speak no about that? I don't have Comcast, so yeah. I don't know who this is. Yes, you do. Xfinity, ma'am. It's with Comcast. You said Comcast. You didn't say Xfinity. It's the same company, ma'am. No, sorry. Xfinity can send me an email about my complaint. Thanks. Okay, well, we're going to disconnect your service now, okay? What a fucking stupid banjo. Alright, alright. Fuck you, banjo. Who's next here? Let's see. UPS. We might need a UPS driver here. Is, Ch is Chumley in here tonight? Oh. Oh, no. Scobie's not feeling too good. Ronnie, you might have to be an angry UPS driver. Sure thing. Can you be very angry, though? Oh, I left my fucking violent character behind. I'm one nice and soft. Until someone pissed me off. Yeah, he was kind of soft the other night. I was worried about you. He has been going a bit soft lately. A lot of people have been saying that. I promised that lady I'll send her fucking dinner. Wednesday. Wait. <laughs> yeah, I still got the fucking thing here on my monitor. I got the fucking the post it note. Stick with her address and shit. I'll oh. send her fucking foot. My good deed for the year. Come on. Hello? Hello? Hi there, is that Patrick? This is Ronathan with UPS. Hi, how are you? What's up? Hi, I'm good. The uh, reason for the call is I see that you reached out to us on social media with a complaint. Is that correct? Uh, correct. Could you tell me what happened? Right, so... So I had a delivery came to me. I probably received it today. But okay. on the first instance, they tried to deliver it, and I didn't hear a knock at the door, of course. And that's fine, whatever. But then I got an email notification that it would be delivered Monday, and they tried again Saturday. And I wasn't here Saturday, of course. But then I looked at my email Saturday night and saw that you had an notification to do a delivery Saturday an hour and a half beforehand. And that was crazy because I thought it would be delivered Monday. So, I'm sorry, you they attempted to deliver it. When was the first attempt and you didn't answer? Friday. That was Friday. And then they tried again on Saturday and you didn't answer again. Is that right? Yeah, but I got an email notification on Friday that we delivered Monday, so I didn't expect it to come on Saturday, and then I missed it, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah, sometimes they try and deliver it earlier for your uh, convenience, but you didn't answer again on... Okay. 
Uh, let me just check the yeah, status the notif- of the, that. The notification kind of scared me because I didn't realize they would attempt Saturday when the notification said Monday. <laughs> okay. Um, let me just check here. Yeah, so the the delivery is still out uh, on a truck right now. Um, well, I just received it like 20 minutes ago. Oh, you did receive Okay, it hasn't updated yet. Um, well, what I can do, um, just to make sure this, this doesn't happen again and you do get a notification, I'm going to reach out directly to the driver and just make sure that he, if he is going to do any early deliveries or deliver at different times... Uh, that he uses the notification system. Um, are you okay What's to hold on the phone while I do that? The, in this area? Yes, it's Alex for your your area. Have you had any other problems with Alex? Oh no, just I just didn't even hear a knock the first time, and then the second oh. time was just unexpected, so I wasn't here. <laughs> well, let me reach out to him now and make sure that he's aware. You know that. He obviously shouldn't do that in the future. Bear with me a moment, because I know he is due to finish his shift soon. I just want to catch him oh, while he's, he's still... Shit. He did a good delivery just bear with me a moment. You just uh, stay on the line there. Alex, who is? Yeah, hi, Alex. It's uh, Ronathan here at Corporate. Yes, sir. Um, you just dropped off a, a package about 20 minutes ago for a gentleman, uh, la, Mr. Branch. Uh, Branch, Branch yeah. Perfect. Yes, um, so, uh, I've got the customer on the other line. He has actually reached out with a complaint about the service he's getting from you. He's saying that, um, for what? He, he's saying that you didn't knock loudly enough on Friday when you tried to deliver the package. Then you didn't use the notification system when you tried to deliver on Saturday. So you made him miss it again. Um, uh, so he is... He oh, he's, sorry, he's here on the line. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, but he, he um, has made a complaint, so I'm obviously sure we need to address it with you. That is a blatant lie. Uh, I went there, delivered the package. I was knocking, banging oh on a door. There was some noise coming from inside, and he, they did not answer the door. And then I come back next day, it's the same thing. Laura's Alex, fucking I'm inside, and nobody's answering the please door. Please Shut up! Alex, please let me jump in. What? Alex, please. Hi. No, uh, it was what are you gonna say? Complaint you complain you. about me, motherfucker? I bring your shit and you're bitching about it? What the fuck is wrong with you? Wow. This is not on you, this is on the Amazon system. Please it's my fucking fault explain. you're not answering the door and now you're fucking complaining about me not bringing you the shit? You gotta be um, out of your fucking mind, boy. You won't even fucking let me explain. This is not on you. Okay, this is on explain, the okay. Web system. Okay, explain. Go ahead, explain. What's your problem? This is about the notifications, and this is not on you, please. Well, it better okay. not be. Monday. I mean, sir, just to let you know, it does get Friday registered as a Friday formal complaint against the driver because he did put this on social media, Alex. That's why no, we have that's, to... No, that shit ain't going on my fucking car. Fuck this shit, bro. I did my this job. Is... Whoa, 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 whoa. Alex you, did, Alex, you did a great job. This is nothing on you. Please let me... I did a fantastic Let's job, go. motherfucker. Fantastic, bitch. Yes, you did. Yes, Alex, say you it. did a great fucking job. Please let Say me it, fantastic. Oh my okay, god, explain what the now. fuck is happening? I don't know what's happening. You complain about me, now my fucking shit, my record's gonna get fucked because of you. I what are you gonna about do about Amazon it? Amazon system, not you personally. You did a great fucking job. Okay? Very good. Thank you. Give me a kiss now. No, my complaint was the Amazon system. Um, basically, you delivered Friday, and I missed that delivery. Okay, fine. Um, then I got a notification that it was delivered Monday, and there's a delivery attempt, delivery attempt Saturday, which I wasn't clear about. There was no notification about that. And so I'm not sure what happened in the Amazon system that caused that thing, whatever. And you just dropped it off now, and I got it. Finally, thank you. And I have no complaints about you personally. You did Okay, a here is job. what you do. Here is what you do. You go where you make the complaint, and you're replying to your own tweet, and you say, Alex is the best driver ever. So I don't get flagged on that shit, okay? 
I will do that. Very good. You better do it. Come on. I'm going to check. You Nothing better against you. It's just the Amazon web system. That's all I'm complaining about. Are we clear? Motherfucking look, I swear to God, you better fucking pray to God I don't find you fast enough, bitch. What the fuck is the fucking problem here? Are you fucking kidding me? Bro. Guys, can we all try and keep the language professional, please? I have no problems with Alex personally. There's a problem with Amazon Web System, and Alex did a great delivery job. That's all that we're here saying. Very good. Sorry, I got distracted. It's a no fucking word. idiot here. He wants to fucking suffer pain. <laughs> I hope oh, you don't want to fucking experience that. Say you love me. No, I will not. Why would I say, say you that? love me, Patrick? <laughs> Might help if you could do that. It's a brotherly Patrick. love, nothing gay. I'm no fucking homo, bro. I I don't go to fucking that homo shit. Okay, that's irrelevant. Let's not let's not say that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, Alex, you okay. have a good rest of the day. Okay, what are we gonna do now? Alex, do Alex, Alex, do not go back. Do not go here. back to his um, house. I'm looking at your GPS right now. And we're done here. Uh, Alex, I'm looking at your GPS right now. Do not go back to his house. Why do you track my GPS? I'm free to go wherever I want to go. <laughs> we can track all our drivers. Why are you going back to his house? Oh my I wanna god. Give, I, oh, I want to give him a hug. I'll give you the oh, best hug you that. ever experienced. What? You better answer the door when I knock this time. You're not coming, sir. You better answer the door, Patrick. Answer the door. I'm going to knock. Not again, Alex. Three, not again. Not this. Three times fast. Two You're times slow. No, 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 fast. no, 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 no. Not, not again. Not again. One more time. For the old time's sake. Let me do it one more no, time. No, Alex. No, no. Please. One more time. Come back to the office. Are you kidding me? Do not fucking come here. Oh my god. One more time. I'll make sure this time I disappear before the police shows up. What is even the fucking issue? Because you had a nice delivery and that's it. Well, yeah, I mean, you did make a formal complaint about him, so... When he, he was just trying to do his job, you know. It's about the Amazon system, not him personally. So what is the fucking deal here? I'll so, show you. you are going to have to watch the language. I, I'm trying to help you here. Oh, Alex. Yeah, this is a different matter now. Yes. Yeah. Alex, do not go to his house. Not this again, please. You remember what happened last time? I remember. Everybody remembers in UPS what happened. Oh, my Everyone. God. Everyone. I have no peace with you. Why are you even coming here? Are you kidding me? You better be. I'm uh -oh. not kidding. I am on the way. <clears throat> better get ready, boy. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me, really? You Alex, no. Here. Not this again. I want you to wear your best underwear now. You Go fucking chill out. Go put it on right now. I have nothing you against have a... you. What is your deal? Alex, Do no. You have a high he has heels nothing in the against house. you. Oh, not Do this again. you have again. A high heels in the house? You're fucking doing what? Do you have a high heels in the house? A what? High heels. High heels, shoes. Shoes, high heels. What I like high heels. What question is that? Do you have stockings? Oh my Jeez. god. Ooh. What the fuck? I hope you're hairy front and back. <laughs> I will give you I will give you the best time of your life. Oh my oh. god. Only for a Are limited you, time. You really want to come here? Do you want to get hurt? Simon. Seven minutes. Whoa, away. are you threatening him, sir? Did you just say you want to get hurt? It say sounds that like again. he's threatening me, so I'm like, what the fuck is happening? There is, is no coming threat. What is I never threat? threaten people. I only make promises. And I never broke a single what promise. What does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean, Alex? What do you mean? I mean, 
What I say happens. What I say is the law. So, what, and the law? Patrick okay. better be ready. So, what did you mean I... when you said you were going to hurt him? What did you mean by that? What do you say? Sure, you go. How are you going to hurt me? Tell me. I may like it. What? The fuck? Whoa. <laughs> Tell me, Patrick. That was a weird one. I didn't see Tell that coming. Where, this is the weirdest fucking Amazon CS thing I've ever had. What do you mean? I, I'm not with Amazon. What are you talking about? He's a driver, sir. This is I the weirdest drive. customer service experience I've ever had. By far. Well, sir, you did make a complaint against him. I mean... I made a and complaint against Amazon in general. No, was you... never targeted toward Alex. If you look at what you tweeted out, sir. And I'm coming to what? give you... A what? In-person customer service. Have you ever been sexually serviced? By a big Russian guy? Alex! She oh, God. Oh my God! You go. Not this. It. Not this again. Get the, the oil ready. Get Sir. the loop ready. Sir, he's nearly at your location. Can you see him outside at all? Not close, necessary. I want you. Where's the GPS? Is he fucking coming over? Uh, he's real close. Yeah. Four four minutes Jesus. away. Well, Jesus. Tell him Jesus can save you. Shot. Uh, you can. Uh, do you actually have a gun there, sir? I have my gun too. Oh no, 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 no. Fuck you. Let's not have this. You're not fucking have, come. There's no need I for this. I have my gun too. No. Let's have a good time and then we go to the shooting range. We shoot Jesus. each other in the face. The fuck? I'm gonna I'm gonna come out Are you over your me? face. No. Never. This I is never fucking can. insane. Should I fucking call the police right now? No, do no, not. No, don't do that, sir. There's no need to bother them. This man is harmless, okay? Are you sure? Yeah, he, he he's come. completely harmless. He's done this before. I get before. what I want, and then he, I move on. He so just, he likes to yell a lot. Someone needs to fucking okay. tell them, then, if he's fucking We've, having, well, um, acting insane, right? Can you just, my can you gun, go out? Can my you, gun is my penis, and <laughs> Alex, I'm ready. <laughs> Alex, please, don't do this. Turn around. So he's nearly there. Can you see him outside? Not yet. On the Open the door wide Dude, and I wait for me naked. Today. God damn it. What are you doing, sir? What happened today? I'll take you out for a what dinner is after that. Doing? Jesus. What is what doing? Jesus. <laughs> it's lunatic. Uh, Alex. Where the you, fuck is Alex? Do you see him outside, sir? He's right on top of you, according to this. He's right there. Alex is somebody you don't want to fuck with. Look in the back of your house. Oh shit, did you get out of the van? Yes. Oh shit, we, we well, can... Well, I'm not going to call fucking we, we, can only, we can only track his truck, so we can't track him if he got out of the truck somewhere. I parked it, I parked it a few places down. Oh, and I'm tip, I'm tip towing towards Jesus. his place now. Oh no. Jesus. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Dad, I want you to call me Jesus when I come out over. Wow. Here comes the airplane. Oh, what did you get yourself into, Patrick? What did you get yourself into, Patrick? Why today? Why on Monday? Why everything is happening on Monday? Monday? What? Why did you do this to me? Now you have to pay the price. Nothing you have personal. to pay the price of being anally gaped. What did you say? I'm sorry. I'm taking <laughs> notes here. Anally. Anally. What? Anally I'm sorry. Gaped. What was that? An anally. Um. So, do you know what that Patrick, means? Patrick, are you still with me? What the fuck? Where are you? Do do not get scared. I can see you. No, you can't. Uh, I'm watching you. Peekaboo. Don't look.
Smile with me, smile on the window right there. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh my baby. god. Um Supervisor, why the fuck have you not called that one yet? Oops. What was that? Mind your own business. No, I am. Patrick. Go in the front of the house. Uh -oh. I want you. Oh, who I the want fuck you, are you? I want you by the door. Take take your clothes off right now. You are Jesus Christ. Show oh me God. your body. Show me your body now. <laughs> Patrick. Patsy. It's getting hot in here. Do you feel the heat yet? Are you sweating, baby? So honey for you, bitch. What did you say, sir? Are you shaking right now, Patrick? No. Very Maybe good. a little bit, though. I don't need you to shake. I need that hand um, steady. Supervisor, will you please fucking handle your fucking driver? Um, there's very little I can do when he's kind of there on site and I'm not. Do you know what I'm I mean? I'm pretty sure you, can't I, you want him to be on the right? call. I can try he's and talk him down. The call. He needs to document you the call talk for him the report. Down and call the police at the same time. I can try and get his... But, otherwise. The last time he did this, we got his wife on the phone. She managed to get him under control. Do you the want me... Wife, can I help me? To be a driver. I need male body. I need male. A real male. I don't need the wife. The wife can I give Jeez, me I don't have I fucking need. time for this shit right now. Hold on a second, I need sir. Patrick. Can somebody get his wife on the line? Yeah, the number's I'm there. I'm on a there. Patrick mode. There, just patch it in. Patch it in. Now. Patrick. Patrick. Alex, shut the fuck up. Whoa. I'm coming. Honey? Huh. He's doing it again. Honey? He's doing it again, Hazel. Hey, baby. Huh? huh, sweetheart? When are you coming home from work? What's going on? I just wanted to say I love you. Oh. I'll be, I'll you. be. Hazel, he's have, doing I, it again. He's he's attacking no, another customer. He's gone crazy on another customer. No. He's what? losing it again. Sweetie, he's, what did Dr. Morrison say? He said... I'm not going to repeat it because it's embarrassing. Dr. Morrison said, put it away for another day. Remember, whenever you get like this, put it away for another day, honey. He, Yes, Take but I'm already breath. here. I'm already here honey, and I'm watching this. Honey, you have him. to leave. He's hot. Honey, you have I to go him. home now. I want him bad. Really bad. I want him really bad. I gotta honey, have him. I'll bring him home. Home, honey. We're personal we, we, to you. We can put ever. him in the basement. Honey, come home. Can we, come can, home. Can we keep him in the basement for the next few days? Honey, we can't do that anymore. That no. Really? Who is this on the other line, honey? Sir, I, I don't open your door, sir. Oh, he okay. got nacho. I'm already inside. Sir, do you have your doors locked? Everything is locked, motherfucker. I don't see him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. Talk to, talk to Morrison. Do not bring Dr. Morrison into this. Alex, Try and get his doctor he on the line. He did things he shouldn't have done to me. That's why I'm like this, this way. That's why. Oh. What? I can't. I can't hold it anymore. I gotta have Patrick. I gotta bust on out. I can't. Honey, Dr. Oh, Dr. Morrison's on the phone. He wants to talk to you. I don't want to talk to Dr. Morrison. He's a fucking Sir, problem. do not open the I door. I don't want Dr. Morrison. Do not give me I Dr. Morrison. I escalated from a tweet that Amazon had some bad <laughs> notification email to this. This is crazy. Did he say he wants to bust a nut? Is that what he said? What is going on? I'm not sure. Oh, my God. I want to bust a nut in his mouth. Fucking Amazon I'm going to charge you with gallons and gallons of fucking sperm. I bet you'll never it use Amazon again on. after this, will you, Patrick? Honey, I have I'm Dr. Morrison on the line. Dr. Morrison. 
Don't bring oh, Dr. Just, Morrison. He's in somebody's no. Dr. basement Morrison. again attacking them. Dr. Morrison, go Morrison ahead, please. Here. Dr. What's Morrison, going on, Alex? Alex? No, Dr. Morrison, that is not true. Put it away for another day. Isn't that I what you always say, away. Dr. Morrison? I can't. I can't. Yes, Alex, Alex, we're going to need you to calm down and come on out of that person's house, okay, sir? Alex, you have to go to the Mac on Instagram. Let me do it one more time. Only one more time. Let me do it one Dr. more Morrison, time. Dr. Morrison, please help. Please help. I want him no. bad. No. I want him bad. I'm not going to gonna hurt anything? this one. one. Alex. This one yeah. I'm going to let. I, I'll let him leave. I'll Except let this one leave. we're not doing this again. Please. Let me Who's do it. Who's house are you in there, every Alex? Time? It, it's my boyfriend, Patrick. The fuck? Oh, okay. It's your boyfriend. It's his boyfriend's house. He's that is my there. boyfriend. Dr. Yes. Morrison, he doesn't have a boyfriend. No, oh, Patrick is my right. boyfriend. Patrick, Alex, tell him you're my boyfriend. You almost tricked me. It's really escalated. Patrick, wow. are you his boyfriend? It really did, go Patrick. Your, it really Alex. did escalate, didn't it? Alex, go to your quiet place. Okay. Are you his boyfriend, Alex? Let me take my pants down Patrick. and I'm gonna go. Patrick, are you having a relationship with my husband? Patrick, are you having a relationship with my husband? No. Patrick, I'm going to need you to go ahead and pull your pants down. Patrick, do you like prank phone calls? What? Prank phone like calls, prank Patrick. Phone calls? Prank phone calls. Do you like Patrick, them? Patrick, do you do like the like <laughs> Do you oh, like the gang? <laughs> meow, meow, meow. Patrick, it's a prank phone call. He's not really coming to get you, okay? Patrick, I love you, baby. I'm not really Patrick. there. Patrick. Put your gun away. What? Put your pants on. <laughs> go, drink, go drink a little water and relax. Calm down. Patty. Hello. My real oh, name is. Now, my real Pat name is Vladimir. Patrick, did you get your gun out? Is this a fucking game? Yeah. Jesus. Oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever played The Price Is Right? We yeah, played the same such thing. A game now. That's fun. You're on The Price Is family. Right, Patrick. It's Family Feud. Um, Have you ever been on Family Feud? Yeah, you're on Family Feud. You're on the radio, Patrick. Okay. You're, You're on the radio, yeah, Patrick. Us, Patrick. Are you happy? Your wife's, Are you happy now? Your wife's lever asked How us to set you up. You don't have fucking cameras. Do you have cameras? Yeah, we have cameras. No. We've been watching you the whole time. I got a camera Where in the cameras? bedroom. In the bathroom. The cameras are hidden. There's one over there. There's one over there. Wave to your family. Your wife's boyfriend set you up. He told us to do this. If you listen to WKLM in the morning, you'll hear it live. You'll hear boyfriend. it on the air. But it's I'm WKLM in the morning, Patrick. She's married another one. So he set you up. They set you up, Patrick. Yes. They all thought they, they all thought it'd be funny. My other, my other, the other boyfriend of my wife. The other boyfriend of your wife. <laughs> no, no, your wife, your <laughs> wife or your ex-wife set you up. But no, you're That's live. Funny. You're live on the Macron show, Patrick. I'm gonna have one of my bitch boy assistants send you a tweet. Okay. Just to say hi. Bitch boy what? I have bitch boy assistants. I'm going to get them to this send you loser. a little, little tweet saying hi. There's this loser who works for us who sends tweets to people to tell them that they're on our show. And the janitor sucks them off and he does it for free for us just for that. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. He's going to treat you. How do you get the Amazon yeah. data? We call him the gimp. Your, your ex-wife gave us all your information. Yep. The what? Your, it was your ex-wife. Your ex-wife set you up. That bitch. Oh my God. Yeah. Would you like us to take terrible of, revenge of on her? Because we can arrange that. We can kind of reverse to prank her. Wait, wait, wait. Which ex-wife? Oh, no. Uh, we, can't, don't tell, we can't tell you. The, you have to know. We can't. The really, the really angry, crazy one. I was married. Don't give her. If, don't that give her helps, if that helps narrow it down at all. That's a really stupid answer. We can't give Just give opinions. us your ex wife's number and we'll give them a call. The one that yeah. likes weeks. I won't give you shit. We can prank her by like releasing a bunch of bed bugs in her house or something like that. Whatever you want. Whatever. It's, what? your, it's your call, really. A what? Patty, be a good sport. Yeah, come on. We can just go over to her house and dump a few thousand bed bugs through the, through the door. 
Sounds lovely. Yeah, we'll get a. You know, Alex is we a Broadway trained we, actor we who was trained. We definitely won't tell her it was calls. you that organized it, like we did when she was trained to you. Oh, great. Yeah. Your scale. All right, well, we have to go call more customers now, Patrick, but we love you. Love you, man. Bye, Patrick. Bye. Bye. There he goes. Bye. Good old Whoa. Patrick. Mm mm mm. All right, who's next? I see a lot of Zoom meetings coming in. Oh my God, in. imagine that call being on the, fucking, name. on the fucking uh, private shows. Ooh. 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 You test the Zoom meetings, Belfast. I'll see what else we got going on here. I uh, forgot what fucking company I was. Uh, uh, oh, that was him. Oh. Okay. See who needs my help now. I don't know. Is it silent ringing? Is it ringing at all? Uh, hello? No. This number's acting very strange. Let's see what's going on in this Zoom meeting. Fuck it off. Fuck those fucking people. This song always confuses me because it's got phone dialing in it. Oh, here we go. She's in her car. So, those are my thoughts on what we've read so far. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Thanks. That was okay. really fucking stupid. I know it. Bye. All right. Who's that? Another. Yeah. We Hi, have Frank. A... Can I help you? We have a couple of uninvited Frank. guests. Who else is there? This one. What are you going to do about it, toilet brush head? You got uh, it. Who else is that? We this have one? a couple of people. This lady looks like a ghost. What an asshole. How dare you? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> do you give a good blowjob, bitch? Oh, she kicked, they kicked me out. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I'm kicked out. I can't be bothered. Yeah, they got me. They Spoiler got me. brush head. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's really funny. I could have been a lot ruder. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, I was keeping it polite, you know. Mm -mm -mm. This person is not happy about dealing with robots, eh? Let's see about that. Hello? Hello? Hi there, so Ronathan calling from Xfinity. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Reason for the call, I actually work in the corporate complaints department. I understand you reached out with a complaint. Yep, again. Um, what happened? Uh, what happens? Uh, you can never get a person on the phone like like you. Um, never. How did this happen with no repercussions? Hmm. Um, what else? I guess that the frustration boiling over. 
Okay, okay, let's start at the start. When did you first reach out to try and get some help? This time? This mm -hmm. time about half an hour ago. About half an hour ago, okay. And what happened during that interaction? What happened during the interruption? I don't follow In the question. What happened during that interaction? The interaction. Um, yeah, what happened? I wasted about half 30 minutes of my day back and forth with an automated chatbot that just tells you to unplug your modem. Then I find out it has nothing to do with the modem. It's an outage. Oh, so there was an outage. Yeah, but it didn't figure that out until I wasted half hour with a bot oh, resetting gosh. my modem two times. And I guess you don't have any friends in the neighborhood that you could have kind of checked with them to see if they had an outage? No, I don't typically call other people about outages. Right. I guess you don't have that many friends in the neighborhood, hey? Yeah, probably just not standard practice to call other people to see if they have an outage of their internet. Oh, you could definitely. I mean, I'm very friendly with everyone in my neighborhood. I would have just, like, texted one of my neighbors, said, do you have yeah, an outage? It would have just, saved like, me a lot of time. Provider, just tell me what's going on instead of wasting all this time on chatbots. Well, we do have a page that tells you when there's an outage. Did you not check that page? Uh, well, I have an app that I go to for Xfinity that is supposed to let me know about outages. But first I had to deal with a half an hour with a bot. Is this call going to be anything productive that you're calling me about? To, to well, I'm trying to be productive, but um, I'm, I'm trying to be productive. But, um, you know, from what I can see in terms of being productive, I'm trying to educate you here. But it looks like that during an outage, you confused that with a fault. Yeah and wasted half an hour on the phone well i mm. didn't confuse anything your your application your mm. mobile app is what was confusing oh what was confusing what was confusing about the mobile app for you listen i i don't have time to waste it you're either going to do something to to satisfy a client or you're going to sit and argue with me you pick which one's it going to be um i'd like to sit and argue with you actually if that's okay well yeah, I figured it was much. Typical okay. contest. So, <laughs> I, mean, I, that. I thought you wanted to sit and argue. I thought those were my options. Oh, come on, sit and argue. Oh no, Coco smashed his phone screen. Around. Hello? Yes? Do you just hang up on me, you little prick? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think you are, sir? There he goes. <laughs> there he goes. See, he enjoyed it. All right, who's fucking next? Let me know if we have any fresh meat coming in here. Uh, let's see. Uh... Busy. Busy, is it? Yes, that doesn't work. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What's this complaint? Yeah, this person posted a picture. That's great. Always useful when they show us a picture of the damage. To Verizon Wireless, the number you dialed no. has been changed. Just Fuck you then. Fuck you. All right, next. Worst customer service ever. We'll just see about that, ma'am. Hello? Hi there, so Ronathan calling from Uber Eats. How are you doing? 
I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Reason for the call is your file's actually been escalated to me at the corporate complaints team. Um, I understand you had reached out with quite a serious allegation. Is that right? Say that again? I understand you had reached out with an allegation against one of our staff members. Is that correct? Uh, I guess uh, an allegation. I just kind of told you what happened. But yeah, it was, it was a serious incident. Could you tell yes. me exactly what happened so I can begin an investigation here? Yeah, so, I mean, this was my girlfriend's account. Uh, we lived together. She ordered alcohol um, through Uber Eats, and we were getting a lot of automated responses. They were calling her a rider, which is how we knew we weren't getting the appropriate attention originally. Um, so he, call, he, he calls during, you know, we're both working from home. We live together. Um, he calls, calls a second time, you know, she calls right back at most a minute in between his successive calls and her return call. Um, she tells him what apartment number we are. We're straight back in on the ground level of the apartment. Um, Danny, what, um, why, why didn't you have the apartment number listed? They told you you could Okay. Yeah, they automatically removed the alcohol. Um, you know, you would know better than I. Apparently, automatically removed the alcohol or the apartment number for alcohol orders because we have to verify that we're of age. So we typically don't include that, or we we typically include the the number so that you know to avoid situations like this, so that my dog doesn't get scared when someone comes to the door. So his complaints were due to your policy in the first place. So this guy comes storming up. I'm on a work call here. Um, Danny, my girlfriend, answers the door, um, and he explodes on her. And I mean, like, you know, she's a small woman. There's someone yelling at my... I don't know that an order's coming. There's there's someone yelling at my girlfriend, you know, at the door. So I hang up my call and go meet him. And he is, you know, cutting an imposing figure on my small girlfriend, yelling, showing her her his phone. He's got a bit of an accent, showing showing her his phone, pointing to his backpack, saying, "We carry all this stuff." And you like, you didn't tell me where the the order was. I come out and tell him, "Whoa!" Like, you know, again, I don't know what's going on here, but it's completely inappropriate for anyone to be talking to her that way, let alone a larger man you know, whose job is to deliver. So he was delivery. physically larger than you. Is that what you, because you keep kind of reiterating that point. So he was kind of physically he's larger still, than you, like a bigger man, was, a larger man, he, like he a real man. Me. I, Definitely I, a, a real man, like a, a, a real larger man, you know? So he, you know, I don't, he, he wasn't mm. like six, five or anything. But you he's were like frightened. A, you were frightened of him. You felt that if there was any kind of, you know, physical altercation that you would you wouldn't be able to defend your your lady there. Is that what you're saying? No, I I would be able. It just to sounds like her, you were quite think. shocked by the whole experience, and and I just want to make sure I get the information accurate. That's all. Yeah. So yeah. okay. So he, my girlfriend, for reference, is five foot four, one hundred twenty pounds. You know, I'm five ten, two hundred. So He's you're probably you're a, you know. You're a little, a little chubby guy, then. Me? Yeah, you're a. You, what are you? Five ten, two hundred pounds. Do you just call me a little chubby guy? Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to get an accurate description of the incident, so it's you know for when it's escalated to my superiors. Are you serious right now? Yes, yes. Yeah, very important that we get all the details correct and a, a you know a, a correct description of the incident. Are you just? What was your name? My name is Ronathan. Ronathan. Yes, sir. Are you just? Did you call me to get a description of the incident and then describe me as a little chubby guy? Oh well, I was just trying to get an accurate portrayal of what uh, what actually happened here. A little chubby guy. I'm sorry. What? A little chubby ah. guy. You're a little chubby guy.
Oh, why didn't he like that? He got fucking scared of his own voice. Oh. <laughs> Was that you with the soundboard? A little chubby guy. Hello? Hello? Is, hello? Hello, is that the little chubby guy? Oh, he's a oh, poor little chubby guy. Okay, fine. He basically just admitted that he couldn't stand up for his wife there. That's the story he was telling me, do you know what I mean? Like, did anybody else get that? That was the gist of it. He was like, he was a really big man. Kept going on about how That's exactly like what I heard. He did me keep too. going on about how big this guy was. Did you hear him? He was like, he was really big. He got into I think he might have been good. attracted to him a little bit. Yeah. Like, he was like, he was a big, strong man. Very attractive, tall and handsome. He was, I think he was just flexing. Me personally. For his girlfriend. If, I mean, no, but listen, me personally, and I'm not even kidding, like, if, if somebody yelled, if an Uber Eats driver yelled at my girlfriend, then Uber Eats would be there, like, pulling his head out the wall afterwards, you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't be saying on Twitter, like, yeah, I hope this big man came to the house and he frightened us. Like, Uber Eats would be around there pulling bits of their driver out of the neighbor's wall. But now he was like, oh no, I'm frightened. All right, let's see what we got going on here. All right. What's your problem? Mm, not liking the charges, I eh? Okay. Hello? Hi, there's uh, Ronathan calling from the corporate liaison team about your complaint. How are you doing? Uh, I believe you, you reached out to us on Twitter because of some uh, additional charges for using your credit card on the account. Is that right? What company are you from? Oh, I'm with Hertz. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yes, yes, I did. Yeah, what happened? Okay. Um... Well, I've been a gold member in renting from Hertz for many, many years, and I've never had something like this happen, but you're stealing my money. Um, what do you so mean? Son, what do you mean stealing? What I'll, happened? I'll explain. My son was going to rent, need to rent a car. It's the first time he ever rented a car. He's like 20, 19 or 20. And, um, okay. What kind of car did he rent? And, I think it was a Monte Carlo. It was a JFK. I can give you the rental reservation numbers. I got to find them. No, that's okay. I got so all. I, I, got, I got. I got all that information call. here. Anyway, that's okay. Go. You go ahead. Fine. So, so we sat down to make the reservation before we went on our trip, and I used my American Express card. He has an American Express card on my account, also, but we used mine. Didn't know the difference. He landed there in the middle of the night. Flight was late. He's there at like 1 a.m. He's got to drive somewhere. He's never rented a car before. Okay? And they told him, we can't rent to you because you didn't use your credit card. Use your dad's credit card. Right. And Makes sense. Try to handle, they said, all you got to do is call the 800 number and switch the credit card on this reservation, and you're good to go. So he sat there in the Hertz. He called, waited on hold at Hertz for a half hour, mm. and the phone got hung up on, you know, didn't go through. And then he called me, and then we both, on different phones, tried to call. His hung up after 20 minutes. Mine hung up after, like, 25 minutes. Okay? He's, my son is sitting in the middle of the night getting tired. He's got to drive. First time renting a car. So the guy at the counter said, well, all you can do is go online, rent a car, and try to talk to the phone people afterwards. So we did that, and the original rental, I think, was... we was a, Oh, he hung up. We lost him. Back here, little buddy. What happened? Hello? Hello? Yeah, sorry. I think we lost you there. Okay, I don't know how far we got. Uh, I forgot to tell you the numbers. Yeah, so what happened? Yeah, so the prepaid rental that we prepaid on his credit card before the trip was like $443. Okay? You did refund me $343 out of that. Or something, and then, then you charge me fifteen hundred fifty-one dollars 
for his rental, and then you refused to refund. I'm fine paying you the total of four hundred forty-three dollars. I think you just, I think I have to pay another hundred. I think you just refund me the. And he hung up again. It's definitely him. It's not me. This doesn't got to be twenty-four to run a car anyway. This dipshit. Hey, I don't, yeah. I don't know what phone oh. number you're calling, but anyway. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with your phone there. You need to sort your shit out there, buddy. It's kind of annoying. Are you really? You're not from Hearts, are you? Yeah, of course I am, sir. Just fucking stop hanging up, okay? It's like really difficult to do my job when you keep doing that. If you were Hearts, I don't think you'd be swearing at me. I didn't swear at you. You used the F word. Okay, well, I didn't swear. I didn't. I didn't you swear. Sort my S, my, you have to sort my F word out. I'm st I am I didn't swear at you. You know, I'm British. That's how we talk. You know, you can't do anything about that. So, anyway, well, what, look, in a nutshell, what is it you need us to do? What would help alleviate this? All you got to do is refund me $1,450. Oh, no, fuck yeah. that. We're not refunding $1,400. Bullshit. No, no, no. Well, you will. You will. Yes, no, you we will. won't. No, we won't. Yes, you will. No, we won't. Yes, will. Nah, nah. No, we won't. All right. I'll just go back up on Twitter and. No, I'll don't do that. Don't do. Ah, oh, shit. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't go back. No, 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 no. Don't go back you on the Twitter. No. Hurt, hurt called me and started swearing. No, I would never. Uh, I didn't. I, I, I've been, sir, I spent sir, hundreds of thousands sir. of dollars on your company. Ah, shit. No, no. I'm gonna get so fired for this. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. That's not. That's that's what happened though. Ah, that's the truth. Fuck, fucking that's shit. That's the truth. What just happened on this call? Ah, gee, ah no. Okay, look. So don't, I've got just... no problem getting. I have no problem getting the money out of her. So let's go to small claims. I'll get the money. No, and... don't uh, don't do the small claims. No, well, just don't why? don't just don't mention why? me. Why? Okay, don't mention me. Why? Come on, man. Like, ah, oh, like, fuck, fucking literally shit. Literally, Hertz called me, started swearing, and said, "No way, we're keeping your money." So what am I supposed to do? I'm going to get my money. Oh, let's go to small claims. Shit. Uh, no, don't I'll get, don't. I'll get, the, I'll get the money. You're not entitled to the money. It doesn't matter. No, what not small claims. No. It's my money. It's fourteen hundred dollars. A lot of money. It's my money. Ah, oh, fucking shit. Okay, fuck. Just don't well, mention. How do, I, how do I get? How do I get my? I don't. I don't. All I want. Don't mention want. the swearing though. I'm not supposed to swear at people. Okay, they told me about that before. Listen, buddy, buddy. So just tell me how fuck. I do this, okay? Really, you work there. I mean, the fourteen hundred dollars is not yours. It's not hurts his money. It's no, I mean it doesn't affect me either way. That's the thing. I have no dog in this race. It's just I swear a lot, you know. And I, I've been warned about it before, and I, I don't want that uh, coming out in some kind of court proceedings or really, something and like I don't that. Really you know care what I mean? All that. I don't know you. I don't have a dog. Exactly. Now. Exactly. Care. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. But I just want to. I just need to get my fourteen hundred dollars. So what do I do next? You tell me what I'm supposed to do. What I would How do, I mean, I've worked for the company for a lot of years, and I can tell you the best way to handle them is to show up to your nearest Hertz dealership and, like, hold them all hostage, you know, like tie up the girls that are working in there and uh, lock the place down and then start making some demands. You know what I mean? Come on, dude. You're not Kind of go, hard. like, die hard. <laughs> who, are, who are you? Who or, are you? or, like, rent a car from them and then drive it straight through the front window, like, <laughs> like that, just to make a point about how pissed off you are. Okay, but this is pretty funny. Who are you, really? That would do it. Or, like, I don't know, you could find out the owner of the local franchise that did this and just, like, bully him online. Like, just gradually wear him down with loads of mean comments whenever he posts on social media. That might work. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for the advice. I'll just go back on Twitter and talk about this. All right. You're live on the Macron Show, though. I love you. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> don't go don't go back on Twitter now. Uh Ronnie, are you in here? I'm just gonna uh go grab another beer, rock a piss. You can take over again for two minutes. Yeah. Yay, I'll be back. Is everybody so fucking quiet? What the fuck happened? Oh, no. <clears throat> it's quiet. Hey, what's up?
Hello? Oh, your mother Hazel's still in the asleep. bathroom. I don't know what's going on. Hazel's got like the you, shits. It sounds like you're really, really far away. Fix it, fix it. I don't, I, I don't know why. I'll have to get um, Ron to look at my setup after. Is your uh, microphone plugged in all the way? Or your headset plugged in all the way? Let me check. That could be it. Could it be? No, it's plugged in. Is there a man or some sort of care that looks after you that could take yeah. a look? I'm so, I wish there was so badly. I can't tell you. I was a man in the house. Yeah. Maybe. Oh. Hi, you've reached. Hazel, how's, how's the man in the house? How is he? Yeah. <laughs> Why? I heard, I hadn't, you yeah, hadn't talked to him in a while. Talk about him. Oh, Tell him I, I, I started watching the show again. Catch it up. The show? Below sea level, whatever it is. Below deck. Shit, below deck? <laughs> yeah. That's that show. I love that show. I know, it's so weird. You guys like that show. You know the only reason I watch it, you know, right? Yeah, I do actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see who's fucking who. That's it. <clears throat> Hello. Yes. You come to my room, help me out. No. Oh. Have a good day. What do you mean, no? Hello. <laughs> wow. Call another hotel. I got an idea. I got an idea. Okay. Thank you for calling the Cozy Garden Inn, Richmond, Indiana. You are being transferred to front desk. Fucking cold, most of them. Is this the front desk? Yes. Uh, I need help. I have a man in, in my room. He's holding me. Kid. He, he, he don't want to let me go. He's in my bathroom. I don't know who he is. He, somebody's in my room. Somebody's in my room. Somebody. I walked in my. I walked. In, I walked in my room and somebody's taking a shower. I don't know who he is. Uh, what's your room number? Uh, two ten. Yeah. Two ten. Two ten. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's in my room taking a shower. I don't know who it is. Wait, wait, what to do? What's your room number? Two ten. I don't understand. What is your room number? Uh, two ten, man. Room number. Two ten. I told you. Yeah. Your room two ten. Two ten. I've got somebody in my somebody's in my shower. I don't know who it is. What to do? What do you want me to do? I ask you, what is your room number? Two ten. Two ten. Yes. Two one zero. Yes. Two ten. Uh, maybe you yes. try to two call ten. your. Can you help me? We don't have any room on this number, okay? No, two ten. Twenty one. Ah uh, yes, that's the wrong number, okay. Twenty one. Oh, one ten. One ten, honey. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't even care if you get killed. Tutan. 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 Kezo. Can you get us some can you get us some food? I'm trying. Okay. That's not for how can I help you? Hi there, can I get an order um, for pickup? Oh, wait, may I have a phone number, please, ma'am? Sir, it's 767. What's that? 767. 767? 
Mm-hmm. One, three. Hello? That's my number. Um, I, I, I have a special phone number. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. What? Hello? Hello? Yeah, can I order? This one? No. Can you hear Hello? me? Hi. Jodo. No, like, your voice is like literally like it's two people voice coming right now. No, Jodo. it's just me. It's just it's Jodo. just me. Who's that? Taro bap mental bosri na. Lorde mother chud. Can I order now? Ma'am, you like uh, can you feel like uh, call? Mani bosri ma gal de tari bhel chud chuda wa phone karayiye hu em pusu. Can you check my order now, sir? Uh, hello. I'd like some chicken tikka masala. Oh, Just hold on, ma'am. May I have the phone number one more time? Your voice is like breaking real bad. Seven hello? six seven. Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you Tutan. 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 Okay, I know that Tutan. room. Tutan. <laughs> Tutan. That's the room number. Hi, this is Nick, and you've reached my voicemail. Oh, we got zooming coming in here. What is going on with this zoom meeting? Let me in, let me in. Coco Loco did a tip, everyone, by the way. Did you see that? Did you see Coco's tip? Ugh, thanks, Coco. Macronshow.com forward slash tip. Love Coco. Good work, Coco. Oh, are they gonna let me in? I just called my husband trying to get in and see if that works. Alright. Your husband's called Ron. Try this complainer while we wait. <clears throat> oh shit, they let me in. Hi, this is Nick and you. Dale, and I just let in Ron. Oh, okay. Thank you, Kurt. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Ron here. Hey, Ron. Hey. To the... um, would someone else like to share on that paragraph? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <gasps> here we go. Kurt, you're on the job, right? <sighs> what happened? Oh, my God. Look at her. Whoa. What's going on there? Hey. Hey, guys. This is Dale from Zoom Security. Oh, no, he uh, hasn't. Me and Jim are looking, looking at the bombers bombing. right now. Hold on a second. Don't no, do no. anything yet. Yeah. Get rid of them. Get rid of them all, Kurt, please. Get rid of them all, Kurt, please. Hold on. Go. Let us get their Kurt, ID Kurt, numbers. Kurt, what are you do doing? Anything, Kurt, Kurt, what are you doing here? You hey, fucking sir, up, we're going to get your ID number. Get your shit together, please. Do not kick anyone yet. We're about 30 seconds away from getting their IDs. Please. Where we okay, at? Okay, let's everybody leave and we can come back in on another thing. All yeah, right. that'll help. Okay. Yeah, do uh, that. Don't kick anyone out. Ignore them, Kurt. Just get leave them, get them all, get rid of them all. This is Dale with Zoom Security. My ID number is eight zero zero eight five. 
Please hold. Jim has almost got their IDs. I can't get rid of this one that's on. They're, they're using the double router. So please hold on. Been, the... Oh no, we lost Dale. Dale, what happened? Oh no. You guys can't kick me out, can you? You can't figure it out. Oh. Okay, sir, this is this is Dale. I'm in your account now. Oh no, Dale, how did you get in here? Yes, me and Jim are on to you. Oh, fuck. Are the ladies still there? Jim's, a, fuck you. Jim's a male <laughs> prostitute. Jim's a drunk male prostitute. But he's good. He, he, he does things for money. He's hung like a Brazilian donkey. You guys can't figure out how to kick me out, can you? This guy looks like he... Oh, no, did we... Did he... Did they end it? I think they ended it. Mr. Stink Eye <laughs> there. He there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> Mr. Stink Eye. All right, get the fuck out of here. Let's try this person one more time. Let me know if you got any more of those. Hello? Hi, that's uh, Ronathan calling from AT&T. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Reason for the call is I saw that you'd reached out to our social media team with a complaint. Uh, yes, I have. Uh, could you tell me what happened exactly? I understand you've had uh, some loss of service. My internet's been down for eight days. And have they? has somebody explained to you what's going on? They told me there's an outage in the area. That's just all I That's all they'll tell me. Yeah, so what had happened is we, um, we'd had, uh, I guess, one of the cables had been cut. We think it might have been an animal or something, but we're having to replace a whole mainline cable. So um, it's probably going to be out for a few more days at least. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, it looks like uh, gophers chewed through some wires. So all the, all the wiring, the whole kind of layer of wiring has to be replaced. Um, you will see an extra charge on your next bill for the repair work as well. If you do have any questions about that, just call us on the regular number. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to have there... an extra charge? Hmm? You, do you say I'm going to have an extra charge on my bill for this? Well, yeah, everybody affected by the repair work, it's standard policy that um, you will pay a share of the repairs. That's not going to happen. I'm not paying extra. For but we, we do advise you, I mean, that will just appear on your next bill like normal. We do advise you to try and keep any gophers off your property, if you have gophers on the property. I don't have any gophers on my property. Okay, because that's... I live in an apartment. Okay, well... I can only give you the advice that's been kind of given to me by my higher-ups, you know, but um, when you see that charge on your bill, just give us a call on the regular number if you want to have any questions about that. Okay. Would you like to know how much it was going to be? How much the, the charge just, is going to be? Yeah, yeah. Um, if you have an idea, sure. Let me tell you, I'm, I'm going to take a look at your next bill, so... Yeah, it's going to be an additional six hundred seventeen dollars that you'll see on your next. Not happening. I will absolutely one hundred percent not pay that. Well, I mean, you have to sell for us to be able to do the repair work. You know, it's not our fault. Not that... going to happen. Nope, that's not happening. Right, but we we have to so you know go. <laughs> it was gophers though, guys. Hi, this is Nick, and you've reached. Fuck you, Nick. Another Zoom meeting, eh? Mm -hmm. See what's going on in here before I get out of here. Put the kids on it, Cardinal. To not feel... Um... And and to and to get away with things yes. too. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Oh no, she muted everyone. Oh no, they're on the ball. <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! 
Oh man, they got us. Well, all right, fuck you then. Straight out of there. Here comes the airplane. <gasps> Elemental what's in there? Doing a little tip. Nice 420 tip. Thanks, Elemental. That's the way to do it. Macronshow.com forward slash tip. Ah, uh, let's see. Who needs to deal with next? State Farm Trash. How dare you? Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Hi there, ma'am. Ronathan calling from State Farm. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm great, thanks. Reason for the call is I understand you'd reached out to us with a complaint. Um, no, is this not the tax line? Yes, but I understand you'd reached out to us on social media with a, a general complaint about the service. Is that right? I did, but I didn't expect a call. Yeah, tell me what happened. I'd like to investigate. Well, is this not TurboTax? No. Okay, I'm waiting for a call for TurboTax. I'm going to have to call you back. Oh, okay. No problem. Okay, thank okay, you. Okay, ma'am. Bye-bye. Okay, who wants to be TurboTax? Everybody <laughs> call us TurboTax. <laughs> I could be. Do it. Alright, change the number to TurboTax. Alright, just say you're from TurboTax. You had a request to give her a call. That's all you need to say. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic... What? <laughs> Hello? Hello, it's Eddie with TurboTax. I had a request to call you back. Yes. Um, so I filed my taxes and it got rejected. My state and federal were rejected because of a 1095A form. And so I'm back oh. in here and filling out my 1095. And then there's this portion of the, I guess there's a portion on here that says, check this injury form 1095A insurance exchange number monthly advanced tax credit has zero entered. Yep, yep, yep. The corresponding entrees or entries for this month are zero or blank. Please delete the zero. What am I supposed to do here? Because it's not letting me move forward. Well, do you have a zero there or a blank? I have a zero, and then I did blank. It's not moving forward regardless of either. So, shit, that's a big deal. Uh, is there any police on location there? Is there any what? Police on location? I'm, I'm going to need you to stay put. Uh, I'm actually looking at your account right now, and based on the oh. 1095, we're we're gonna have to file a report with the police. Um, Why? If if you can stay there, well, it looks like there's some fraudulent activity. You know, we're definitely thinking that there's some tax fraud happening here. I've already reached out to authorities. We have some on the way. Um. Wait, to my house? So, Wait, I don't want police coming to my house right now. What what kind of fraud? Well, you don't get what to are... choose so much. If you're being arrested for tax fraud, you know, we're, they're going to get you as soon as they can. It's a tax police coming. U.S. Marshals. What did, I, and... what did I do? I didn't do anything. Yeah, but you didn't file that 1095. Isn't that... Oh, man. I wish that you... I wish that you people... Would get things right the first time. You wouldn't go around, you know. Oh man, 
Let me see if I can what? do something on the system here. Um, maybe there's a way that we can do this. But I don't know. I, don't know my I, I think by you might have to. I've... Yeah, you might have to do some time here, lady. For what? The last case, the last case I saw like this, the person's doing ten years in federal pen penitentiary. What are oh, you talking man. about? Let me go in the I system. Have no idea what talking about. I'm just tax trying to fraud, my lady. Return. Tax fraud, the same stuff that they, they arrest mobsters for. You know, if they can't prove that the mobster did something, they just got him for tax fraud. You're in jail for life. Tax fraud is, is serious shit, lady. Like, what did you I guys, tax you fraud? Guys, I didn't they, tax fraud anything. The 1095. I don't know. This guy's just yelling at me. It that. says, it? put a blank. <laughs> You can't leave a zero. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Uh, who you are? Hello. Thank you yes. so much. What's your name, yes. sir? Yes, I'm Sonia's dad. <laughs> oh, Sonia's dad. Great. And I, the, the, do I have permission to speak with you about her account? Yes. Did she just yes. confirm that? Yes. Okay. And so first question I have to do, I have a security question. If you're Ben, ben Chode, I don't know what yes. that word is. Yes. yes, okay, good. Very good. Okay, so she might be being arrested for tax evasion. Does she have any children there that I'm going to need uh, child services for? Yes. Okay, well, perfect. What, what, sir, what, what, what the hell are you talking? Why? If you are from tax Prabhupada, evasion, we are just simply filing the tax. Yeah, but so because... So she reached out to me, and I looked at the file, and it looks like there might be some tax evasion going on. So it's my duty as an American citizen, sir, to call the police anytime that I suspect a ban showed of, of trying to cheat the system. We don't allow this stuff here. It's not not like, uh, I don't okay, know. Cancel this. We, we know. We're not filing with you. We, we, can, we can contact someone else. We can file well, the tax. Well, the thing don't is, worry about I've it. already... We we yeah, already have your this. file though. That, that's okay. Sir, don't call this. Sir, Thank you don't you. you'll show me some respect, damn it. Yes. Up. I don't know Listen no. here. What? Put the lady sir. on the phone. You don't understand what's going on, sir? You're gonna get her arrested. Okay? Put the lady on the phone. Sonya, I need to speak with you. Sonya. Yes. Hello? How yes. can we make this go away? Is probably what you're asking now. Samsung is dead. Okay. So if you guys upgrade to the TurboTax Premium, there's a way that we can go in and undo the unsatisfactory filing, and possibly we can undo this. But you guys have oh, to. Oh, you hung up. What the hell? Yes. I'm bent out. <coughs> Samsung is You want to be my supervisor? Your call has been forwarded to an. I don't know how they don't want to talk about it. Yes. Your call has been forwarded to an. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Should we try and get one more before I get out of here? Find a phone number for this one. Oh, there's a Zoom. Hold on. I'm getting told there's something going on on Zoom. Maybe we'll wrap things up with that instead. What's going on here? Could just you know i share a lot i wish i could be like the guy in the big book where he kneels down and he never takes a drink uh-oh what's going on there yeah, we got a problem <sighs> yeah. oh. I thought you always oh my goodness what was that i don't know steve can you block him steve we can't hear you you're muted 
Steve. Can you fix that? Fix it, Steve. Yes, Steve. 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 Steve has Steve. a relapse. He fucking gun. Steve. Steve. Steve, no. He's sucking a mean cock now. He's busy. Steve. 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 Get in here, motherfucker. Steve. Oh, no, we're gone. We're gone. <laughs> wow. Steve. No, they kicked me out. Damn it. Fucking Steve kicked me out. Unbelievable. Steve is a fucking cocksucker. Ah, uh, where was I up to? Uh, oi, oi, oi. No, that's why. I kind of want to get one more person pissed off, you know. Having a good time here with these complainers. Let's see. Uh, terrible customer service. Hey, this is Ian. Leave a message. I'll get back. Oh, no, that's him, too. That's him. Hey, this is the end. Leave a message. I'll get back to you later. Thanks. Damn it, Ian. How could you? Alright, fine. I got one more that I want to try here. Do it now. Do it. And then I'll have to end things by ordering some Chinese food from my favorite place. Or maybe some African food. Ah! No. Fuck you people. Fuck you people. Oh shit. Wait a minute. Breaking news there. Look at this. things for others and forgetting myself but i've learned that me first and you <laughs> um right? you have to take care of ours do you think that if you loosen that hair your whole the, like all the skin on your face would just slip down like a big slug okay we got a zone bomb. Looks, hey annette can you help us I look. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Let me go back in. Ah no. Too much fucking security of the fucking zoom meetings. No, they got us quickly. They got us. How could they? How could they? Ah, uh, before I go, let's uh let's get some food going on in here.
Oh no, no ho ho seafood. Are they actually busy? Oh wait, am I not supposed to? No wait, I'm not supposed to call from this number, am I? My fault there. Uh, let's see. I'll call from this number. See if fucking Jeff's gonna say goodnight. Thank you well. Let me order some food I and then we'll, so. we'll see about Jeff. Can I help you? Yeah, can I place an order, please? Yeah, what could you like? One chicken food. Hello? <laughs> they know your fucking voice. That old lady's not even, like, she doesn't even joke around me. The young one does. No, like, the old lady's like, fuck you, I <laughs> know you. Call, I want African food tonight. Even trying. if they hear a fucking legit customer. I think I can get Jeffrey on the phone here with that number. Let's see. Yeah, any British man that calls and like mispronounces something, they just hang mm. up on him. You know, that one, that old lady <laughs> does. She says it's $500. You have reached mailbox number two. Oh. The black Afri the African food mm. place just fucking tells everybody to fuck off now. Any British people, definitely. Anybody, show me the other day to fuck off. I called accident, make the order. They probably don't get any real phone calls anyway. No, I wanted to ship me some rice. <laughs> nice. Flavors of Africa. Oh well, time to get out of here. Do we have any announcements? What are we getting up to this week, guys? I just no. want to say, I just want to say thank you to that guy that considered himself as a troll to save us the time that usually what we do after the show, notifying all the customers. It was a oh, thank you. Uh oh. Can I help you? Hey, Banchot, how are you? I don't know can Shut up. Stop it. Stop talking, Banchod. Fuck you. Chodu. If you born with one mother and one father, learn the language and call me back, okay? Mother Bank chod, pata nahi chalwa. Tujhe ek baar bank ki chod rahe, teri bank ki bahan ki teri maa ki tarah bosadi ki. Pura parivar ki chod rahe, maa ke lord hai. Di gaand mat bara. Teri gaand mein di maa chuda nahi aaya yahan pe. Jaa gorka teri maa ke chod. Rak pona. Ye mother chod lord hai. Amman denga land chod ka naatkal deng tera abe. Bank chod. Rak pona. Amman denga land chod ka naatkal deng tera abe. Wow. Wow. Some new banjo oh clips. He was really fucking going for it. <laughs>
Love that guy. Yes, you must. You must have not had a good day. That was Doggy Doggy's hotel. That's the new guy. Yeah. That's the new guy at Doggy Doggy Hotel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know how the fuck they find them over there. Only the fucking the, the girl, she doesn't, she doesn't fucking play with that fucking shit. Indian swearing is beautiful, I think. I wish I could fully understand it. I, yeah, me too. I've learned a lot of it. Like, I've learned a lot of words over the years of just you're doing good this. But I'm you're good You and Ronnie are real, you're both good at it. I'm gang there. I know a lot of sentences now and what they mean. So like... Yeah, no, you're good at it. Yeah, I, I I'll get her. I don't know what they say, but it sounds funny as fuck to me. Mm. It's so good when they go fast. I imagine it's like hearing a British person swearing a lot, you know, or a Scottish person. Like, you can't fully yeah, understand fucking what they're Scott, talking about. Scott, good luck fucking understands fucking Scott when the fuck they swear in. I can't, I barely understand the way they fucking talk, but... Did you guys know that Phil McCock bought me a coffee on Buy Me A Coffee during the show? Aww. Just bought me a little extra coffee there. Thanks, Phil McCock. Nice. Right, this week I'm going to be doing supporter shows on usual, as usual on Wednesday and Friday. And I'm yes. feeling sassy. We're also trying to raise money to make the Macronathon great and help with my travel plans. So I may be doing extra stuff in Discord this week. Especially it's if we get extra away. tips. Whenever we a get... A month away. It's a month away, that's right. So, yeah, if you want to see extra shit, go down in Discord... Go to macronshow.com forward slash tip in the message box. Write down what you want to see. Do you want more complainer calls? Do you want some hotel calls? Do you want some pizza calls? Yeah. Maybe I'll do a little yeah. extra shit in the month in the month coming up to the Macronathon. Yay. We always do extra shit, so just fucking look for announcements. Just be in Discord. That's the main thing. Go yeah. to macronshow.com forward slash Discord and get your ass in there. And listen to the free 24-7 pranks. They're so good. Yeah, we have 24-7 24, 24 prank call radio going on in the, in Discord. It's all pretty good in there. Big thank you to everyone that tipped tonight, by the way. Elemental Watson and Coco, Robert, Dale, Cardinal O'Flanagan, he tipped today. Joho, he also tipped. Thanks, guys. I right, am getting the fuck out of here. Say goodbye, everyone. What did we all learn today? Nothing. Goodbye. I learned that Jeff is still alive. Yeah, just mm -hmm. alive, yeah. Until exactly. we learned that. I honestly thought he'd like... I was beginning to think he'd had like some horrible stroke or something and couldn't talk anymore because it's no, very he unlike him wanna, to... He just don't want to deal with all shit no more, I guess. Yeah, uh, he's, a, he's a pussy. Still our old Jeff. Kyle wants to know what day is the Macronathon. What day is it, Hazel? May. May something. It's a day in May. It's, it's in May. In May. We're actually waiting for Ragman to finalize all the graphics and stuff. The middle and of May. Middle of May. <laughs> in about a month. May, it's May 17th to the 18th. It may get moved around a bit yet. We have a lot of stuff to pay for. If I'm going to pull off making it around. better than last year's. So, again, macronshow.com forward slash tip. Please slide your tips in if you can. It'll really help us make it great. Or better yet, join us in Discord. Now get out of here. Get out of here, everybody, okay? Just okay. leave. Get out of here. Had Bye. enough. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Leave. Get, get out. out. Get out. There no. we go. Fuck Thank off. fuck. Mani bosli ma gal de tari bilni cho cho da wa phone karayi hu em pusu. Chuchin. Thank God. So I'm a couple minutes away. Bye. Drop your pants. <laughs> I'm coming. I better be a fucking Bye. vagina than a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. So I'm asking you to deliver the pizza that I ordered. The order that I ordered. For $80. Fucking Karen. If you're being a I don't know about you, but I don't have $80 to just blow on whatever kind of pizza my delivery driver feels that I need. Well, we... I'm going to spend my hard-earned money on the pizza that I ordered. So. Okay, Karen, shut up now. Listen. Did you just tell me to shut up? Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you are trying to reach is not available. Add the tone, please record your message. When you have finished <laughs> recording, you may hang up. What the fuck is, <laughs> what the fuck is that? Uh, what in the world is the arch? I'm gonna come over there, I'm gonna slap you in the fucking face, you cunt. That's bull hockey. Your ass. 
N E one four A B J. Yes, please. No, no, Shut no. up. What in the world is this? Wow. I'm not saying I'm not stupid. I am totally stupid. Huh? <laughs> Hello. Good afternoon, sir. Ron calling from As Seen on TV. How you do? Bro? My name is Ron, and I am gay. Da 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 da. Oh. Okay. Anyone else on the ropes? We need. Fuck off, Kevin. Don't you ever get tired, go to sleep. Good night.